Why, good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and I wonder, wonder, wonder how your Wednesday is continuing. I was trying to think of a gerund that starts with W to continue that alliteration, but alas, I, I was not I was not able to do so, and for that I apologize. But maybe we'll get him next week. How is everybody? I'm doing rather well this week. It's almost Christmas. Christmas is in Christmas is in a couple days. Isn't that awesome? It's Christmas time. And we're still playing Graveyard Keeper. Somehow, I've been able to continue playing Graveyard Keeper throughout most of the major end-of-year holidays. And I'm actually quite astounded by that. I'm actually very astounded indeed. Which is actually pretty exciting. Maybe it's, maybe it's important. Maybe it's pretty crazy. Anyway, um, I say Graveyard Keeper because that's what's up in the corner over there. Uh, but I guess I, I'm doing things a little bit differently this time. Now we're on just chatting right now, and then we'll move into the Graveyard Keeper, because that's kind of how that works. As of right now, we're just kind of chatting. We're just kind of, we're vamping. We're doing things. We're doing things. We're excited. I'm happy. You're excited. It's been a crazy week at work. How's your work week? Do you, do you work full-time? Does anybody else out there work full-time now? It's pretty much new to me. I've only been doing it for like, like three-ish months now, not even, and it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Somehow, the... Somehow the idea of spending most of my life in a particular location is baffling to me. Which which shouldn't be baffling to me, because be, to be perfectly honest, I spend you spend most of your life sleeping. I wonder, do you spend more time sleeping than you do working? Well I suppose if you're if you work like a 40 hour work week and you work eight hours a day five days a week. No, no, you were supposed to get your eight hours of sleep every single day, and if you only work eight four five days a week then no, you would sleep longer than you work. But for those people who put like in more hours, I wonder, I wonder if you can measure like a person's longevity, like plot their longevity, how long they live against the ratio between how long they work to how long they sleep and see if there's any sort of correlation there. I'm, I'm actually quite, I'm quite interested now. Although I don't actually, I don't have, I don't have the, I don't have the, uh, the math to do that stuff right now. It's great. Well, right? Why, didn't I, why is my phone doing things? Somehow my phone's battery, my battery, <laughs> the sound turned. Whoa! I almost dropped that. Speaking of things that happened at work, last week, last week, oh my goodness, this is so cool. Last week we had our holiday party and we just, it wasn't really, it wasn't, it was party-like. Uh, one of us got barbecue for everybody. Somebody uh, like brought a bunch of like barbecue Oh, there was, there was wings, there was drumsticks, there was mac and cheese, there was potato salad, and oh my goodness, it was, it was divine. There was also cornbread. I'm not usually into cornbread, but somehow that day, I was into cornbread. And there's been leftovers since then. So, the, the whole cornbread madness continues, which is, which is awesome. It's a great, it's a great thing. Because now I'm a little up to, I'm a little more... I don't know. I feel like I didn't like cornbread once upon a time. I don't exactly know why I didn't like cornbread, but now I think I like cornbread. And I actually just had a discussion today about whether cornbread is a dessert or if it's not. Like bread bread, bread bread, like loaf of bread bread isn't a dessert. You don't, you, you can eat bread for dessert, but it's not really a dessert item because it like goes on sandwiches and stuff. I wouldn't put, I wouldn't put, I mean, I was going to say I wouldn't put ice cream as the bread on sandwiches, but ice cream sandwiches exists. So, alas. But in any case, um... Yeah, so I think, I mean, to me, cornbread is sweet enough to be, I, I think cornbread is sweet enough to be a dessert to me, but apparently not everybody feels that way, because some people just kind of eat cornbread along with the meal. But you can put gravy on it. You can put gravy on desserts, right? You can put gravy on keiku, right? Right? I hope you could put gravy on keiku. I don't know. Hey, what's going on, Astro? Your grandpa's 87, grandma's 79 or something on her mom's side, and then dad's parents are both heavy drug addicts who... One died of an overdose, but I managed to live to 40 with uh, doing meth every day, pretty much. And then my grandpa was 60 something, still doing the hard drugs. So you got time. Don't worry, you'll probably have much. I'll pretty much live forever genetically. I don't actually know what the longevity is in my family. I don't know exactly how long the most longevitous family members of mine have lived to. I'm trying to think of the last person who died. And I want to say he was in his mid 80s. Maybe even in these 90s. I don't exactly know. Rest in peace, Pop-Up. My Pop-Up, not Anna's Pop-Up. Anna's got a Pop-Up, too. My fiance, she's got a Pop-Up. So one Pop-Up was eventually released a couple years later with the other Pop-Up. And there was other members of my family that have died, but no, like, immediate family members. Knock on 
Knock on wood, whatever you've got around. I got this cutting board's wood. Knock on wood. For the longevity of your family members, knock on wood. Anyway, anyway, it's cocktail time, baby. And I've been working on something for a little while now. Something that the idea of a liquor, or rather the idea of a liqueur, is basically you take something and you put it into alcohol and you extract all the flavors from it. And I've never, and that's, you know, it's, it's a, it's an infusion. You infuse things. And I've never actually, I've done infusions in the past before, but I've never done like a really, really good one. And then I discovered something called Nochino. And actually, I need to go grab, I need to go grab my book that has the Nochino recipe that I have. Because it's a recipe that I want to share with the world. Otherwise, it's no good. Where the hell did I put this book? Hey, book, where'd you go? Book? Oh, found you. Found the book. It's called Nightcap. Has a recipe for Nochino. I was on vacation a little while ago, and I was perusing through the different stores and whatnot that my family would go to. And you, one of the one of the ones we stopped by down south is some is a bookstore called Mr. K. And I think that they sell books. You can sell books to them. You can buy books back if you give your books in. They give you a credit. You can use it on other books in the store. It's great. And I usually go to the cooking section, not because I'm a cook per se, although one day I hope to be a cook, but because I'm a mixologist. And I bought this book, Nightcap because I was flipping through it and I had found a recipe in the back for something called Nochino. And a couple, about a month or so earlier, I was perusing through the entire vastness of TikTok when all of a sudden this woman starts telling me about the glory of the black walnut. And I was like, tell me about the glory of the black walnut. My parents have a shit ton of black walnuts that fall in their backyard every single year. And it'd be cool if I could use those potentially, potentially. In a, in a mixological sort of way. So apparently you take, there's, there's recipes out there, but essentially you take the black walnut, you cut it up into bits and you stick it in vodka or Everclear, which is basically twice the alcohol percentage of vodka, supposedly, it's like 95 proof. It's just, it's a little tough. It's a little tough. I would not recommend drinking it. Actually, you shouldn't, it, it will kill you eventually. Uh, but so the idea is when the alcohol, when you put something in something else, Osmosis happens. All, there's a bunch of flavor packed in this walnut all in the center, so it goes out to the outside and seeps into the liquid around it. If you took black walnuts, and they don't look black, they're actually, they're green. They're green on the outside, and they're kind of yellowish on the inside, but if you put those black walnuts and expose them to oxygen, they will turn like a jet black. And any liquid you put them in will also turn jet black. Everclear is some great stuff. All I'll say is this, one time, one time, I think it was Anna's first experience with Everclear, somebody had said, we're gonna take shots of Everclear. She was like, I don't know what that's like, let's do that. And she took shots of Everclear. I don't know if she knew what she was doing or not, but it very swiftly came back out uh, about an hour, not even an hour later. It was not a very good decision. I, for one, have never ingested pure Everclear and will only do so if given a very, very, very good reason to do so. Anyway. Allow me to show you. There's no chino I made over the course of the past couple of months. I've had this ball, this bottle of this. This was Everclear, and inside of it, inside of the Ever, inside of the Everclear, we crushed, we chopped up a couple of black walnuts, and also, if you'll allow me to get to the page real quickly, there was lemon zest. Oh, lemon zest and green walnuts. Green walnuts. Okay, well the walnuts are green on the outside, but they're black on the inside. Uh, I, I guess if you call them like you see them, depending on when you find them, you will either call them green walnuts or black walnuts. I called them black walnuts. They were green when I found them, though, so perhaps I'm the one who's providing the misnomer. But you put that, and you let the you let the walnuts and the vodka, and I thought... I don't know if I followed this recipe, per se. I thought there was some vanilla and stuff in there, too. There very well might possibly be. Anyway, and you let that sit for... The thing said 40 days... Uh, it's been in there for almost three months now. I was planning on cracking it back open after my fiance got back from her clinical. Her clinical was over. She's not quite back yet. And you know, I just remembered this was in, like, it was sitting over near my washing machine in the darkness for the longest time. And I was like, I want to crack this bad, uh, bad thing open. So I'll try that. You gotta be pretty drunk to drink Everclear on its own. She was not drunk at all. But she became drunk shortly after. Because alcohol. It's how it do. It gets to it gets to the liver, it gets to the brain, and then it gets passed out. I, I guess alcohol is technically just like hydrogens and carbons and stuff, so I guess you breathe that shit out eventually. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, the Nochino had been sitting there for a while. I cracked this open and extracted, I uh, filtered out a bit of it, because there's a lot of sediment in there. It's still kind of, it's a really, really dark color though, and there's still more sediment left. I, I need to do some post-processing on this to make it really, really good. But... 
and I gave it a taste. It's okay. I didn't give it a full taste, and I was like, wow, that's really, really dry. And that's because you're supposed to also boil in water, add sugar, and add cinnamon, which I have not yet to do yet. So this is like, this is like half Nochino. It's not there yet. It's all of the quintessential elements of Nochino minus, I guess, the liqueur part of it. Liqueur being a certain percentage of sugar over the alcohol, if not surpassing it. Um, but that's my jet, ba my jet black liqueur. This is all Everclear here. Please note, this is half Everclear. I cut it with water. One half whatever was in the bottle, and then one half water. That's how you're supposed to do it, so that you don't wind up hurting yourselves. The reason why you would use something like Everclear is the higher the alcohol content in the surrounding solvent, the more powerful the osmosis powers get to be. So that's how that's how it wind up working. I mean, oh, Astro prefers Everclear because you've got a strong tolerance. I I have had Everclear, not on its own before, but I have had an Everclear pina colada before, and that was a lovely time. Nothing, it was just one drink, and it was the pineapple, the pina colada Everclear slushy, and it was delicious. And it went very, very good with whatever I ate that night. I don't remember if it was a chicken sandwich or it was like fried frog legs or something. And these weren't like, these weren't like tiny frog legs. These were like bullfrog legs. Although the person next to me was probably eating that. That also happened down on my family vacation. Lots of stuff happens on my family vacation. I have a lovely time and I can't wait to actually use the part, the paid time off hours that I accrued because of the job to be able to go and just, just relax, but also get paid for it because you can't work me all the time, can you? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so Nochino. The background head on this Nochino has been covered. It's wonderful, you make it with green or black walnuts, depending on when you found them, depends on what color you get. Um, and you mix that with, oh, I completely forgot to share the, completely forgot to share the recipe. According to Nightcap by Cara, New Cara Newman, to make Nochino, you take 16 green walnuts, or black walnuts, shelled and quartered, the zest of one lemon peeled into strips, and place that into a bottle of vodka, or Everclear, depending on your solvent of choice, and then add water. I will do that at the end. And you let that sit for 40-ish days. I did it for three months. And then you add a cup of sugar and a cinnamon stick to the proportions that are here, um, which I will put on camera for just a moment. Feel free to screenshot that if you so wish. Um, and then you, yeah, and then you got your Nochino, and it's nice and Swedish, you know? Oh, do I have fun plans for Christmas? I do have fun plans for Christmas. I am going to drive home to see my parents. Hello. Hello, Mom. How are you doing over there? We've got a lemon on camera today. Take a look at that lemon. Pretty good. I don't like this this light here. It's it's providing too much glare. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. It's on the fixie list. I would go get the party horn like I usually do, but it's all the way over there. So instead, I'm going to make a cocktail instead. So to use this Nochino, now don't get me wrong, this is unfiltered, unprocessed Nochino. It's still got bits of sediment in it, it doesn't have any of the sweetness to it, and it's just kind of weird. It's a little bit of a weird taste, and I didn't get much of it before, but for the sake of trying, I, I have to try. And my cocktail will be made with unprocessed, unfiltered, unfinished Nochino, because I've completely forgotten till literally, I think, 10 minutes before we began? that there was a whole other part of the recipe that I completely missed. So <laughs> I'll get to that. I'll get to that eventually, I promise. That'll be one of the other times. We'll do the exact same recipe, but now with the polished Nochino and see if it tastes any different. It will, it'll be much tastier, I'm sure, but we shall see. But so this this unfiltered Nochino, this, this jet black, this jet black little thing right here, the very, very dark color. It actually kind of looks like it's transparent because it blends in with both my shirt and the background, the background of the, the, the window out there. Oh, it's so crazy. It's so cool. It smells, it smells like, I, I, okay, let me think. It smells like a, a black walnut to me, but how do you describe a black walnut? It smells weird. I'll give it that much. It smells kind of like you took a stick from like a very green plant and split it open. Like imagine, imagine a completely alive branch that you just rip off of some unsuspecting tree and you blast it open. You're like, hmm, that's got a smell to it. I would say that that smells like that. Go into your backyard, go out into the park 
and find a tree that is too young to die and rip a stick off of it. It's not going to come off easily. That stick is very much alive and it wants to stay on there. But the smell you smell from them, that's the smell you smell from the ripped open wounds of this small young virgin sapling, I think that might smell like this little concoction I have here. It's the best way that I can describe it. It looks amazing. It is. Oh my. Oh. It's incredibly bitter. Wow. It's incredibly bitter. So one thing, one thing that I should note, and then turn my phone on silent. One thing that I should note, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness, that is bitter. One thing I should note is this nightcap book is all about different types of digestive cocktails, those to end up the conversation, those to end up the night, those to end the dinner, the dinner party, or to continue the dinner party conversation with some after dinner things, words. Um, but a lot of the a lot of the cocktails in that book call for bitter ingredients like amaros, uh, like amaro nonino, or different chocolatey coffee liqueurs. Like I want to, I'm gonna butcher this pronunciation, but there's a type of bitters in there called it's spelled like X O C O T Y L, and I think that's sh chocolatel, 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 Oaxaca. I know the word Oaxaca. That's O A X A C A. So knowing how to pronounce. Oaxaca, how do you pronounce Hocalatl? Hocalatl? Anyway, that's as much as I'm going to try on that before I start stepping on people's toes. But yeah, so I'm going to use this in my, in my cocktail. The cocktail tonight being the Ghost Story Cocktail, which I found on some website on the internet. I will put a link to, I will put credits where credit is due in whatever description comes out when the video goes to the archive, the stream goes to the archive that is YouTube. YouTube, I know that you don't advertise yourself as an archival service, but my god, I'm gonna use you as one because I don't have that much storage on my hard drive and you are free, baby! So I'm gonna continue to do that. The Ghost Story Cocktail calls for bourbon, nochino, lemon juice, angostura bitters, and a lemon peel. This, co this website advertises it as a way to step your bourbon up to the next level. Although, if you're adding bourbon, if you're adding nochino, lemon juice, angostura, and lemon peel, it's not just bourbon anymore, it's a cocktail. So you're not kicking up your bourbon a notch, you're diluting your bourbon, and just making something new entirely. It's a completely different category. Why would you say... I don't know. I don't agree. I'd say kicking, kicking your bourbon up a notch is probably putting a bigger hole in your wallet to the bourbon that you're to, to the bourbon that you're buying. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I also mentioned that I, I completely forgot to mention. Aside from the other work stuff, the work party that we had, we had barbecue. It was great. We had a gift exchange. We played dreidel. I have never played dreidel. I was raised Catholic. I've never played dreidel. And my goodness, if I could have a gambling addiction start from any particular place, it would be a game of dreidel because that shit was fun. And also a board game I played over the weekend called Draconic Dice. It's not a board game. It's just dice. But my goodness, I could totally see myself gambling all of my money away with that. Anyway, me and my coworker, my coworker got from this super cute cocktail shaker and it's got like a little pink plaid jacket around it it's great somehow my co-worker had somehow known and put together that i like to do cocktails that's something i talk about i talk about cocktails sometimes i do mixology stuff it's my personal life leaks into my work life sometimes and that i love the color plaid i wear plaid stuff to work all the time i got plaid pants i got plaid shirts i got plaid scarf i got plaid hats plaid socks i do not have plaid shoes yet they will be a part of the thing it's fun Faux oh, show. Dreidel? Dreidel. Dreidel's fun, man. And so I'm going to be mixing my drink in this little shaker here. I'm usually not a fan of these types of shakers just because they're a little difficult. They're, they can be a little difficult to pour out of because they got the built-in grate and it's not exactly the consistency that I'm looking for. And, um, but, but this one's got like, it's got a little, it's got a little rubber rim around it. It keeps the seal. It's insulated. It's, it's something different entirely, and I look forward to utilizing it. So to make the Ghost Story cocktail, we're going to take one ounce of bourbon and add that to our cocktail shaker. I would usually fill myself up for a double, but I don't know if this Nochino is going to taste the way that I want it to, so I am just going to do a single tonight. And then drink water like a normal person. So let's let's do it. Let's uh, Let me set up my little, my little angle over here. I'll try to set up my... Set up my angle. Oh, you know what? Nah, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna wind up making a mess. I realized I've been using different objects around me for support, like books and 
yoga blocks and stuff, and they don't belong to me. They belong to Anna, and sometimes things get spilled on them, and, you know, I really, I really shouldn't be spilling things on my fiancé's belongings because, because she'll find out eventually, and if she doesn't find out eventually, I will eventually tell her because I can't keep, I, I don't want to feel guilty. I can't keep secrets like that. It's so, it's not cool. You shouldn't keep secrets from the people that you love. Anyway, I'm going to put a couple of small ice cubes and a big old ice cube into my cocktail shaker. Which is currently behind the big old bourbon bottle. Could you could you excuse me, please, bourbon bourbon thing, bourbon decanter? You're beautiful, but not today. One ice, two ice. We all ice for ice, ice. I'm gonna try to crack this big old cube over here as best as I possibly can, um, and hopefully not, hopefully not make a mess. I will probably make a mess, but alas, I'm supposed to whack it from from the side like this. Let's do a little reading chat. Hey, I've enjoyed this, but you gotta go and get some stuff done before you watch a movie with your family. Astro, you go do you. You don't need to stick around here at all. I'm gonna keep having a good time whether or not you're here or not. I enjoy your presence. I love your presence just as much as I love everybody else's presence. It's always glad to have people around. But you've got a life, and I understand that. And I appreciate it. Go say, say hello to your family for me. You don't have to mention me, but like, just definitely just say hello to your family. All right, what else we got here? Oh, I cracked the cube. That's so cool. I actually cracked the cube. Lorelai's here as well. What's going on? Hello. Haven't caught up to your hollow night, but hope I've been enjoying the enjoying it. Bone told you tonight was more graveyard keeper, but alas, mom and you are seeing scene two tonight. So just checking in. Hope you have a good one. The it ends too late for you to get back here. No problem at all. I never watched the beginning sing movie. It looked like it was pretty cool though. It seemed a little. It seemed theatrical. It seemed very woo. I just never got around to watching it. Anyway, I have a cracked ice cube in there with the big one. I'm going to take an ounce of my bourbon, which is now sitting upon the floor, and put that where it needs to be. Oh, you love our presents, but Christmas isn't here yet. Oh, get it? Get it? I appreciate your presents, as in presents wrapped in gift basket. It's a, it's a pun. It's a pun. She made a pun. It, it happens. It happens. I have no shame. I appreciate the puns. One day, I will be doing the puns and doing the puns good. For alas, one day I will be a father, and I am going to absolutely lean into all of those fatherly dad joke stereotypes because, I, I don't know, why not? I, I know puns. I'm apparently known to be one of the pun guys at work. I'm not really, I'm a, just a situational comedy kind of guy. Things happen and I make jokes about it, and people are like, that's funny. You're a funny guy. And I'm like, yeah, well, funny things happen in life, you know? You know, funny things happen. Anyway, in addition to the one ounce of bourbon that we're going to add to this cocktail glass, I'm also going to add one and a quarter ounce of this Nochino that I have. It should have sugar. It should be boiled in with a cinnamon stick. But it hasn't gotten there yet because I just haven't done it yet. I have a whole freaking bottle of this thing. This is a lot of Nochino to process. I'm just not quite ready for that sort of commitment yet. But I'll get there eventually. I'm sure I will. I always do. Anyway, ounce and a half of whatever this monstrosity is that came from a tree, um, or multiple trees. Oh goodness, oh goodness, that is spilling all over the place. That's one ounce. Let's do a quarter. Oh, that's about a quarter. All right. Eh, it was kind of a quarter, kind of not. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hi, Jake. Do you like drink? You want drink? You want the drink? Come in for drink. Come in for drink. Welcome. Welcome into the bar. Okay. In addition to the one and a quarter ounces of Nochino, I need a quarter ounce of lemon juice. Now, I also need a lemon peel, so I'm actually going to peel this thing first, and then and then we'll get to it. Where did the top of this thing go? Oh, I found it. Consumption, because of you, I will take another sip of this weird, bitter monstrosity. Oh, God, it is not pleasant. It needs to be processed. It needs more sugar. Oh, my God. Hopefully see you later. Yes, yes, we will. I hope so. I hope so too. Oh, oh my god, I lost my place. Yes, I'm gonna peel this. I'm gonna get a lemon peel. What am I gonna do? Lemon peel. I'm gonna peel this lemon. I'm gonna peel this lemon. I'm I'm not very good at my peeling game just just yet. I'm I'm getting better. I'm trying to do my peeling game. There we go. That's a lemon peel. And that lemon peel has fallen to the ground. Damn it! I lied. I fell it on the ground. Was you, were you my first Twitch sub? Probably. Maybe? I don't remember. I'm sure the analytics would say that somewhere, but I just, I just don't have the thing off the top of my head. If you were, I appreciate you. If you weren't, I still appreciate you. Even if you've never subbed before, I still appreciate you. If this is your first time here, say something. I appreciate you. All right, I have a, I have a successful lemon peel now. We're gonna save that for later. 
And by save it for me later, I mean I am going to eat it. Just kidding. Not right now. Although, although, if, you know what? Let's, let's... Just in case, I'm gonna peel off another peel. There we go. You never know what might happen. The sky could fall. You might not even wake up tomorrow, for all you know. It's, that's a little morbid, but it's true. Hey, anyway, I'm gonna cut this lemon. Cutting the lemon does not have the same ring to it as cutting the cheese or um, cutting it loose. Foot loose. Kick up your socks and goose. Please, Marie, throw me off of my... I don't know. I really... I didn't... I wasn't a huge fan of Grease, but it was, it was a show nonetheless. Ah, if you've ever said... If, uh, but, but yeah, yes, maybe, says Anna. Oh, oh, goodness. But you just subbed for eight months. If you've never subbed before, LMAO, eat the peel or it's not real. And if you don't wake up tomorrow, the subscription is automatic, so it'll still carry on. If you wake up dead tomorrow, which actually, you know what? That's a very interesting point. Why would you say wake up dead? You didn't wake up at all. Anyway, aside, I still appreciate you. You're a wonderful person. And even if you're not a wonderful person, I'm going to say that you are because if I keep lying to myself, maybe it'll become a reality. That's called positivity. Anyway, I need a half an ounce of... Oh! I don't have my squeezer over here. How many ounces? How many things? I need a quarter ounce of lemon juice. I'm not even going to bother getting the squeezer. I'm just going to... I'm going to use... I'm gonna use God's squeezer. I'm gonna use my hand. Let's just, oh my goodness, I'm, s <laughs> uh, it's squirting on me. It happens. If I tilt it in just the right direction, I might be able to squirt it all the way over to the camera. Could you imagine the distance on that squirt? My goodness, it's squirting all over the place. <gasps> that squirt went for miles. Quarter of an ounce of lemon juice, press the squeeze, add it to your cocktail shaker. It's gonna do a thing. Consumption. This is a lemon peel. It is real. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh! I have a buddy of mine. Twitch.tv slash Lycos underscore lore who likes to eat lemons. I don't know how he does that. I can't stand this. That is terrible. Ugh. Ugh. god. What's the reason we do this? Because it's funny. That's exactly why. I also need, phone please unlock, two dashes of Angostura bitters. So let's do that, two dashes of Angostura bitters. Well, that happened. You, you asked for it. I delivered. I'm a performer. I just want your likes. I just want your follows. I will do anything. One, two, dashes of bitters. Let's add a third. Yes, because we're crazy. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful life that we live. And I, I love it. Honestly, the lemon peel really isn't that bad. I had done so much worse. And actually, as you bite into the lemon peel, it's not sour. It's spicy. Does that make sense? I'm sure that makes sense. Cam, you're the only person you've ever subbed to on Twitch for more than a month. Why? Feel free to leave your answers in the comments below. I also have DMs on Twitch. You can also DM me on Discord. I am on all major forms of social media. The Facebooks, the Instagrams, the... the, the... Anyway, I'm going to shake this before I... <laughs> I'm going to shake this before things get too weird around here. Note that I don't actually shake... I don't think... Do I shake the lemon peel in here? Strain with the rocks. Express the oils. Nah. I don't actually put the lemon peel inside. Let's shake a shake it. I've never actually, I've never shaken with this before. I wonder how it sounds. Ah, it sounds just like any other cocktail shaker I've ever had, except it's a little, it's a little less hollow sounding because it's a smaller container. Alas. I'd like to note that I'm still chewing on the lemon peel. I'm almost afraid to swallow. then now presenting oh i just remembered this cocktail this little concoction here gets poured over strained over a cocktail glass that has a big um a big ice cube in it so let's get my presentation blocks let's do that thing that i do so well not really let's zoom in yeah that, that kind of works yeah i'm still getting used to this I need a big old block of ice. Big old block of ice. Here we go. Big block of ice. This lemon peel is making me salivate in the background, but don't worry about it. Ugh. But it is a spirit. But is it a spherical ice cube? No. 
But that's on my Amazon wish list, so hopefully my parents get it for me. That or I'll wind up buying it for myself because I have a job. I should get it myself. Let's strain this over the big old ice cube. Oh, and not on the um, not on the yoga blocks. People will get angry. It's possible that my dearest Anna is owed some more yoga blocks this year. Well, wow, it actually filled up quite a lot. How much liquid was in there? Did I put too much liquid in here? That's definitely not... Oh, because there's a giant ice cube in it. That'll do it. That's how it fills up to the top. Duh. That's physics. That's volume, baby. No wasting money. Yes, wasting money. If it makes you happy, it's totally valid. Spend your money, but just make sure that you can also, like, afford your livelihood. Because, like, if you're not living within your means, then you ain't doing it right. You know? All right, hold on. I need to... I need to finish this lemon peel so I can enjoy the cocktail and taste it. Hold on. Oh my god, I swallowed it. All right. Thank you all for witnessing my pain on camera. It wasn't actually painful, it's just spicy. The lemon, the inside of the lemon is sour, but the outside is spicy. I hope I don't sound like a crazy loon. Although, actually, you know what? I hope I sound like a crazy loon because it's always the crazies that get the most attention. Anyway, this is the ghost story cocktail starring our four major characters. Bourbon of unknown origin, Nochino from my parents' front and backyard, Angostura bitters, probably from Target, and lemon juice, freshly squeezed and squirted. It smells like bourbon. It actually, it's interesting. It smells more like bourbon than it does the Nochino. And personally, I thought that the Nochino had a more pronounced, a more pronounced smell than, than the other one. So it's not... It's not actually too bad. What am I? That was the wrong button. Okay. When are you making my Amazon wish list public? I never thought about that. I don't know. The idea has never occurred to me that the public needs to know what I want. Because the public, the public at large, shouldn't have a reason to spend money on me specifically. I can spend money on myself and earn that via like like legitimate taxable ways i don't need you to spend your money on me although i guess okay actually bold assumption there that my amazon wish list involves somebody else buying a gift for me my amazon wish list could actually just inspire other people to realize what they want for themselves thereby making themselves more happy by expending the currency that they have on this earth remember money doesn't follow you when you die we can get more but it's a game about death here yeah, but bits and things is a bit like, yes, yes, I see that, but I have no control over that. I have no control over the bit stuff. I can't make you not buy bits. I can't make you not sub. I can ask you not to. I can encourage you not to. But now, now how would that help? How did that help anybody? So instead, we do various things to entice you to do so, like emotes and those funny little badge things. It's cool, it's cute, it's wonderful, and, and it makes me feel good. I like to do this graphic design stuff more or less as a hobby as well, so the fact that all that stuff is there is not because, it, not mainly because it was for anybody else, but me. Because I gotta look out for number one and make them feel good, the great one. Like, in your opinion, you'd prefer to see someone get something they want rather than 50 cents from 100 bits. I respect that. I respect your opinion on that. I like that. I will put that as a consideration. Where's my consideration board? I need a consideration board again. Excuse me while I awkwardly get close to the camera while I grab, I need a, I need, I need a marker. I need a marker and a piece of paper. I have paper towels. Okay, okay, this is good, this is good. I haven't actually tried the cocktail yet. Wow, look at that. Okay, suggestion board has a suggestion. Amazon wish list. Amazon. A Maison, Maison wish list written on a paper towel and Sharpie. We don't need the Sharpie. Uh, but as all as all the good things, it's not permanent on the board unless it's stabbed there. This is a very big knife, so let's like pretend that it really got in there. This is the suggestion board. A Maison wish list. Anyway, nobody needs that anymore. Let's, let's put that over there. Knives are dangerous, kids. Very dangerous. The ghost cocktail. Let's actually taste what this tastes like. It smells like bourbon. Smells a little bit like green walnut or black walnut, depending on when you found it.
Alright, that's kind of awkward. I don't... I don't not like it. I'm confused. I'm confused... You know what? No, no, no. I'm not even confused. I'm intrigued by the different flavors that are present there. It's sour because of the lemon juice. It's bitter because of the nochino. And it's... It's bourbon because of the bourbon. It's got that bourbony air to it. I want to say it's like vanilla-ish spice. I don't get that. My flavor palette is not that advanced. But it's not bad. It's just like, it's a flavor that I have not ever had before. Like, it's a, it's a spicy kind of bitter. And I, I don't, I don't just, okay, maybe, maybe the lemon peel is, wait, I forgot to express the lemon peels. Eh. Now it smells like a lemon. I did that properly this time. Let's try it one more time. Half of your taste is actually your smell too, or at least I've been told by most bits of media. Pipe down out there. Yeah, it's... It's different. It's so... It's so unlike anything I've had before. Like, this doesn't taste good in a conventional way. It tastes interesting. It tastes like... I don't know. It's it's like almost... Individual flavors. Individual essences. Distilled down and mixed together. Like, it tastes like a combination of... Spicy, sour, bitter. That's what it tastes like. I don't think it tastes like anything else I've had before. It just kind of tastes like if you were to take spicy and sour and bitter and mixed it in a way that is not entirely disgusting but oddly pleasant, that's what it would be. And it also smells like lemon now or bourbon or green or black walnut, depending on when you found them. It's not bad. It's not good. It's not, it's not, it's not, no, 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 it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not good either. It's not bad, but it's not good. The ghost cocktail. The Improved Ghost Cocktail? What was it called? The Ghost Story Cocktail, according to the internet. Something, a recipe for Nochino that I found. I have a couple of Nochino recipes in that Nightcap book that I had before, but I apparently don't have any of the other ingredients, and also the Nochino is half finished, so... But I was meaning to do a Nochino drink tonight, and so I looked one up. Because the power of Google is immense, the power of Google is vast, the power of Google is everything that I could have ever asked from it, and more. And oftentimes, Google will give me answers that I don't even ask the questions to because all of a sudden, like, the assistant will, like, pop up out of nowhere and be like, I think you heard me call consumption. Mm. Mm. And Google's just like, I think I heard you call. And I'm like, no, I didn't. Go back in your hole, Google. Nah, just kidding. That's, that's, that's rude. Apparently, every once in a while, I have conversations with my Google Assistant because I get lonely sometimes. We all, we are, we're all guilty of loneliness sometimes. And so one time, Google had suggested for me to ask what its name is. And I was like, okay, okay, what is your name? And the Assistant was like, they call me the Google Assistant. And I was like, I thought you had a name for me. I thought you were actually going to name it, you say that your name was like Catherine or Gertha or something, not... I'm the Google Assistant. I'm the exact name that you knew that I was, and yet I thought I made you think that I might have had a different name, so I pulled you on the line for a little bit, you honey dicking AI. Anyway, it was it was actually I wouldn't say it was disappointing. I was I was actually very I was like, huh, yeah, that is your name, isn't it? Hmm. Interesting. What was my opinion on the fog cutter? Fog cutter. Which one was the fog cutter again? I have to look that up. One second. Which one was the fog cutter? I need to remember what the fog cutter was. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I remember which one the fog cutter was. That was in, wait, wait, I know exactly what book that's in. I gotta go find it. It's behind the desk. Da, 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 da. Fog cutter, fog cutter, fog cutter. It's in the tiki book. Where are you, fog cutter? I think that had the little snake on it. Snakey, snakey, snakey. Snake, 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 fog cutter. That's all the exposition. I don't want the exposition. Cobra Spang. No, 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 it didn't have the snake on it. Where were you, my precious? My precious fog cutter. The fog cutter. A recipe calling for aged rum, bourbon, gin, orange juice, pineapple juice, lime juice, or joe, or jot, and honey syrup. I remember liking that. I think I do. I definitely remember liking that. And I think it was probably, that was the first time I ever used or in a drink. And I had that in my fridge for quite a while. But 
I don't know if it went bad, but it was in there for like four months. So I decided I didn't have that much of it. If I ever needed more, I could just make more. And that's my story that I was going to stick to. But I remember the fog cutter being quite nice. I don't remember when I did that drink. Was that... Was that on a cocktail stream, or was that on a, just a regular stream that we just took a, a, a break? I feel like... I don't know. I don't really know. I can't be held responsible to remember my own streams. I'm a very dense person, and my memory doesn't work like it used to. I'm a young boy. It should be working a lot better than it... It should be working on pretty, pretty good. But um, time and time again, I am proved that... I am constantly brought up with situations where somebody says, Hey, do you remember this happening? And I'm like, no, 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 this is totally new to me. They're like, oh, okay, well, we talked about it earlier this week. And then I'm like, oh, I'm not surprised, actually. I'm really, I'm really not surprised at all. In any case, this was... What was it again? The Ghost Story Cocktail, starring Bourbon. Yay! No Chino. Whoa! Angostura Bitters. Ah! And Lemon Juice. Yeah. That was the crowd reacting to each of the star characters. There's only four characters. Think of it like a play. In any case, we're going to real quick, uh, real quick, quickish, as quick as I possibly can, switch things around to the other side, because the bar's on this side and the desk is on the other. And we'll get to some graveyard keeping, keeping some graves. I think this is the longest early, early session cocktail I've done. It's because I'm having a good time. Nothing but good vibes and morning times, but it is not the morning over here, but maybe it's the morning over where you are. I know it's, I know it's 8.40 in the morning in Vietnam right now, but that's, that's okay. <laughs> Love the cocktail streams. I've been told by my mother specifically that that's her favorite part. Robin, if you're still out there, I don't just do this for you. I enjoy this as well. In any case, let's bring it back to the other side. I will be with you y'all in a little bit. So peace out until then, y'all. Here come the parrots. It's my one of my favorite parts, the parrot times. Here we go. And welcome back, everybody. Don't know why I always say welcome back. I'm not the one. You're not the one returning. I'm the one returning. It's graveyard keep a time. And we're joined by our star actors and actresses and those who fall in between those categories in... No Chino. No Chino? Yes, Chino? No chi, yes. To be fair, I'm, I'm, I've switched to a bit of a new schedule setup thing. So, like, I'm trying to do some games one week and some games another. And to be honest, I don't remember where I was two weeks ago. I can barely remember where I was yesterday. I was out for a run yesterday. It's good to remember what you were doing. Otherwise, you may forget. But I gotta figure out what was going on here. What was going on here? What's going on here next? Oh, I gotta do something for Miss Charm. I think Miss Charm was the one I had to talk to. Uh, Miss Charm, I need a gold star love story. I don't have gold star love stories right now. That's not, that's not the kind of storyteller I am. I'm not very good at that stuff. Oh, but I was doing research towards it, I believe. I believe I can create good stories in my basement. What happens in my basement stays in my basement, or potentially not. I am, I'm completely unsure what occurs in my basement. Just kidding. I know everything that happens in my basement. Not my real basement. I don't I don't go down into the basement. I'm pretty sure I can store things down there, like my apartment allows me to, my apartment landlord allows me to, but I, I, I don't need to. There's no need for that. I need a good story. How do I make a good story? I don't, I don't make a good story. I don't make good stories around here. If I, oh, there's, huh. I guess I need playwright and industriousness. I guess I just need to get a good story for somewhere. That'll happen eventually. I'm sure it'll happen eventually. Do I have any good stories so far? Like, really good stories? Hey, look! Where did I get this? I have no idea where I got that. I can't wait to go to Miss tell Miss Charm how great a story I have for her. She's gonna be like, what's this story? And I'll be like, I have no fucking clue. It's it's something about this guy named Romero and J Julia. What did I have to do for you again? The dumbass sword! The dumbass sword! The Damascus sword! Uh, yeah, I gotta do that. About the necklace. No, about the ritual. No, I need the Damask sword. And how do I get the Damask sword? Dem -me 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 -me. How do, how do Damask? Damasky. 
Uh, it wasn't here. It was over here. I can create a Damask Sword. I just need 50 blue points. And for that, I need, you guessed it, more blue points. How to get more blue points? I can rack more stories. I can go get more pieces of paper and create more stories. At this point, they're all cookie cutter. They're all the same thing over and over again. It's like every single, every single Marvel movie, I guess. I've been told that every Marvel movie is the same exact plot line. I don't know exactly myself. I don't, I don't hyperanalyze things like that. I'm not very good at that stuff. I can barely remember the shows that I'm watching right now. I'm watching Cowboy Bebop right now. What a good show. I think. From what I remember, which isn't a lot, it's a good show. And the only reason I started watching that was because I met. Let's see, I finished watching whatever I was watching previously. I binge watched the entirety of a show called Silicon Valley because I work in a startup company. And I thought it would give me more context on what's going going on. And it kind of did. Things kind of make a little more sense now. Oh my god. I'm hiccuping profusely. Oh, goodness gracious. What a good, what a great cocktail. What a different cocktail. What a different experience we've all had. I need to make stories. I need to make things to give me blue points. Technically, I can get blue points from big blocks, like stone blocks, or stories. I have, I have a choice. Um, this will give me good good. Oh, but I don't have any good good. Oh, I think I, oh, no, 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 I can do... I can do one of these! Scribble, 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 scribble! Blue points. Scribbles, scribbly scribble. Oh, I'm out of paper. I need more peeling paper. Well, I should make more clean pa oh, mm, paper. Paper, paper, paper. Clean paper. I can get clean paper from pig paper. Which I can get from bat wings. Because, yeah, bats are just pigs of the cavern. Duh. Pretty sure I stole that joke from the Anchorman, too. They were definitely the ones to make that joke before me. What are what are what are cats? Chicken of the rail yard. I feel like can I use soft covers for anything? Can I can I use that? I'm gonna make a soft cover. Do I get blue points for that? I don't get blue points for that. I want blue points. Give me more blue points. Whatever I can do for more blue points. I would like some of that, please. Put some of that on my plate, if you wouldn't mind. What? No, sir. I don't think I mind at all. Well, pfft, duh. Of course you don't. Of course you don't. I'm going to take this paper and make more notes. No stories right now. Just notes. I need the blue points. I need the blue points to be able to craft the big giant sword of forever. Because when you wield this sword... You see into forever. What's the day that I talked to Miss Charm again? Miss Charm? Charm? Charmy, Charmy, Charm? It's downward facing day, and today is not downward facing day. That's way behind us. Okay, then. I'm gonna go up and take a sleepy. Go up and take a little sleepy pill. Sleepy time. Sleepy time, sleepy time, sleepy time. I've been trying to get my sleep schedule back on track. It was a very stressful week last week. It was... It's been a week... This week, all things considered, good things, good things happening, bad things happening, things happen, things always happen. There we go, turn that light down. There we go. But so I kind of use these things as a means to just be able to just hang around. Hang around shit a little bit. This is one of my ways to relax. And you might be wondering to yourself, how in the world does this guy relax if he literally never shuts up? Good question. I still don't know the answer. And I'm still not done talking. Which actually sounded really condescending. Like, don't interrupt me. I'm not done talking yet. Don't get a word in. I'm still talking. Just kidding, just kidding. There, there is always, there was always time. There is, there is always room to interrupt. For example, here is your opportunity to interrupt. I will give you 10 seconds. Congratulations for your 10 seconds. Nobody said anything, so I'm going to keep on talking. See, wasn't that fun? It wasn't supposed to be. I was attempting to portray a point. What that point was, it's lost now. I've forgotten. It probably wasn't a very good point if it wasn't, if it didn't stick around. 
Because I, I guess if something is really, really pointy and you throw it at something, it'll stick into that object. Oftentimes, sticks can be pointy. So maybe that's the whole, like, stick, stick it to the point. Stick it to the man type thing. But in all seriousness, if you have something to say, it doesn't matter what it is, you are more than welcome to share it. I don't even care what it is. So long as it remains within the guidelines, it doesn't contain anything that may be harmful to others. Including yourself. I just got a message from Twitch the other day. And for a moment, I usually check out all my emails and stuff in the morning before I head off to work. And there I am, sitting in my most personal chambers, reading through my emails. Actually, I was going through emails, I was going through notifications and stuff like that. And I see a notification from Twitch saying something, something like... Um, we don't promote self-harm, and we've clarified what self-harm means, and I felt like I was personally called out for that. I was like, like, hello, Cameron, just saying, you, we're just saying, we don't, we don't condone self-harm around here. If you want to know what self-harm is, we've clarified it for you, and me sitting there in my most personal space being like, did I hurt myself recently? Was it, was it behind camera? What have I done? Was this directed towards me? No. No. I don't think it has been. Probably. He says taking a very long sip of one of the most abused. Actually, not one of the most abused drugs and or chemicals. Sugar, I think, is considered a chemical. Sugar, I think, is considered a drug because it alters the state of mind. It alters your state of being, sugar does. So technically... Sugar is a drug, and stay off drugs, kids. Stay away from the chocolate mark. The candy man is trying to get you hooked. Everyone was like, weed is the gateway drug. No, no, man. Nah. Laffy Taffy. It goes straight from Laffy Taffy to weed to cocaine and methamphetamines. That's the order. And then, like, bath salts. And that's, like, that's at the way top. Like, I feel like you've done something wrong if you've gotten to that point. I don't know. I've never done bath salts. I apparently have not screwed up too bad just yet. Although, there is always time to make a life-changing mistake. That's a, that's a philosophy I like to live by. There is always time to do good. There is always an opportunity to do good in the world. And there is also countless possible... There was always poss countless opportunities to do a great amount of wrong. And I feel like, and not that I've done the math in my own head, that doing wrong is easier than doing right. Because I feel like there are more things out there that don't have a right or wrong category. And depending on your point of view, glass half full, glass half empty, depends on whether that zero point is a bad thing, a good thing, or I suppose it can be neither. But we live in a world of, we live in a b world of binaries, apparently. One or zero, male or female, Democrat, Republican. It's because of the system, man. It's because of the damn system. I choose to believe in a gray area. Or, or a pink area, or, or whatever. If, if one side is one color and one side is another, the purple area in between. There is always a purple area. Whether or not people would like to hear that or not is a completely different story, but I think there's always a purple area. It's always a good thing. Hmm. I have clean paper now. Oh, I need to put the clean paper away. Okay, okay. It is astrologer day. What do I need to do for the astrologer? I needed to... Find out what Miss Charm knows about her father. In order to talk to Miss Charm, I need to get the good gold star love story. In order to help with that as well, I need the dumbass sword from Snakeu so I can know about the necklace. Does this chapter give me anything good? I certainly hope so. It gave me blue points, and I think I have... After this, I think I'll have enough blue points. <gasps> Maybe? Oh! Oh, I'm so close! I need two more blue points! Maybe. <gasps> oh, this is going to be a good one. I have run out of energy yet again. Do I have anything to make that right? Berries? 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 Is that enough berries for work? <laughs> yes, it is! Now, I will become the greatest blacksmith known to morbid kind. How do I create that? It's crafted at a jewelry table. I do not yet know. <laughs> oh, I need a jewelry table. That's all the way down here. I need 50 more blue points. <sighs> Alrighty then. I guess, I guess I'll go pick some rocks then. I'm gonna go to sleep and go hit some rocks with stones in the morning.
Guess I should have done my research. Yet another example in my life of when I should have done the research. Uh, I'm gonna cry internally now. Hold on just a second. Alright, we're good now. Crying internally has ended. Now we will continue onwards. Here's a random thought. Totally random thought. Do Sharpies smell good? Or is it our mind that gets high off the Sharpie telling us it smells good, although it actually doesn't? I've always wondered that question. Like, are things tasty because it's actually tasty? Is it tasty because it's good for us? Or is it tasty because there's something else going on there? For example, I've been told that windshield wiper fluid, never tried it myself, tastes amazing without all those funky additives. Is it because it's good for us? Is it our mind attempting to kill itself? Because the inner, the inner mind, the inside of ourselves, the soul, is attempting to breach itself from the physical body. It's trying to free itself from the mortal shackles which tie it to this unclean, unjust, and unpure world. I've always wondered those questions. So if anybody has, you know what? No, no, no. Actually, let's not put that prompt out there. Don't drink. Antifreeze. Don't do it. We don't condone such behavior that help that hurts you. I'm sure that Twitch's new guidelines on self-harm would absolutely cover drinking or any sort of ingestion of lighter fluid and other chemicals is definitely considered self-harm in some way, shape, or form. Maybe not immediately. It might be a very instant gratification type thing, but later on, that'll kill you. Propylene glycol, was it? Propylene glycol, maybe? I don't know. Whatever the chemical is. DPG. Yeah, propylene glycol. DP, DPG? Propylene, dipropylene glycol? DPG? I don't know. I don't want to do it over here. I'm going to go to the quarry. That sort of that sort of stuff they used to put in wine as a sweetener. And apparently... Oh, I warped to the wrong place. Shucks. They used to put DPG, the dipropylene glycol, into into uh, wine as a way to as a flavor enhancer. Before I think Austria, this might have been Austria. Uh, people started like getting like chronic conditions and started dying from this stuff because of the shit that was in the wine. And eventually, the like, the Austrian government was just like, "Yeah, you guys, you guys can't, you can't do this. You're you're killing people. You, that's a very stupid move. Slap on the wrist. Don't be putting chemicals in your wine. You'll kill people." Honestly, I wonder, I, I, like, it's stuff like that that makes me curious, like, but what does it taste like? You've, you've made a big enough deal that now, now I want to know. <laughs> oh, what else does, co does crop waste get me? I just noticed it can be turned into dust. Turn into dust. Turn into dust. Green dust. Mmm. Green dust. Health powder. It's powder for your health. Put it up your nose. That type of powder isn't. Is it green? It's white like this stuff down here. Oh, I don't have health powder from anything. Let's try let's try an alchemy recipe. Does anything use you use health potions with chaos? What about health powder with something else completely? Like health powder with alcohol will probably get me paint. Right? Green paint? Probably green paint? We're unlocking recipes. Alcohol? Let's see what we find. I got blood goo! Let's try. Um, health powder and water. Perhaps that creates a concoction beyond our wildest dreams. I got goo of chaos. Nope, also not what I was looking for. How about health powder and oil? That's always an option. Hello, oil. Combine. I got dark green paint. Wonderful. I'm glad finally we got something good from that. Although, to be honest, I don't know if the paint's, like, really good or anything. I haven't yet used the paint for anything. It's completely, it's completely, um, cos it's completely cosmetic, as, as I'm sure you know. You paint things because you want it to look differently, not because you want to feel different on the inside. Although, perhaps if I paint my walls pink, I will feel different. I'm sure my landlord will feel pretty different about it. Not indifferent. I'm not sure if they will like that. They will probably not give me back my security deposit if I do that. If I paint the walls pink. But there is really only one way to find out. And that's to ask them first. But why would I do that when I could just paint my walls pink? 
Instead, what I'll do is I'll put on displays like this. The wall looks blue, don't it? It does. But it's not the color blue. It's the color white, which reflects all other colors, to my knowledge. And I, I'm sure I'm sure there is probably some color out there that is not reflected by white light. Or a conventional, like, like, a, like a white painted wall. I'm sure there are some color weirdnesses out there somewhere. This world is a weird place. I would not be surprised of anything. I'm trying to remember the last thing that I was surprised about. To be perfectly honest, I've completely forgotten. Might not have been that important. If I don't remember it, often I tell myself that it was probably not important to begin with. Although that's not always true. Depending on the situation. It is the end of Astrologer Day. I completely missed the Astrologer. That's okay. I am going to cope with that by going to the quarry and... Oh, wait, 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 I need a chisel. Do I have the chisel down here? Chisel? 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 I don't know. Can I make another chisel? I feel like another chisel is important. Chisel? No? How do I make a chisel? Chisel down here? Chisel down here? Chisel down there? Chisel, chisel, chisel? Nope, was that a chisel? Nope, iron hammer. Iron hammer? Oh, I can make... Oh, it's steel tools. Oh, interesting. This one uses steel, but it calls itself iron. That's not correct, but... Hmm. Where do I make the chisel at? Chisel? No. Chisel? No. Chisel? No, that's definitely not chisel. Chisel? Chisel! Steel chisels! Steel chisel! Plus... Ultra. What does that do? Uh, can I make that thing? A lens? Can I make a lens? Where can I make a lens at? Lens? Can I make lenses over here? Lens? No. 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 How about this? Lens? No. Where do I make a lens at? Have I discovered lensing yet? I have. Carpenter's Workbench 2. Carpenter's Workbench... No. Lens? To make a lens, I take glass, polishing, paste, and faith. I feel like if there's four lenses there already, I feel like I already have some lenses. I do not have any steel parts. Let's make some steel parts. Steel parts. Steel parts. Steel parts. I need bowls. Camera needs bowls all of a sudden. Where did I put my bowls? My bowls are in the basement. Are my lenses also in the basement? I thought I made lenses at some point in time. What was I using lenses for? I don't know. I do not know. Lens? No. Bowls? Yes. I'll take two, please. Lens? No. Do I have any polishing paste? Maybe. Is the polishing paste up at the quarry? I feel like the polishing paste is up at the quarry, if anything. Maybe. I'm going to check the quarry for polishing paste. Quarry time. Hello, quarry. Do you have polishing paste up here? No. And I don't even have a chisel. What a waste of time. But I can, like, just break this shit down. Oh, wait. No, I can't because I need wooden wedges in order to... <sighs> My goodness gracious. What is this thing? Why can't I go in here? I want to go in here. Why don't you let me in? Just let me in. Guess not. All right, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Back to sweet home, Alabama. Did I not have polishing paste up here? I thought I had polishing paste somewhere. I have sand over here. Where's my paste then? How do I make the paste? Show me how to make the paste. Paste. Polishing paste. I know I've made it before. But how? How do the paste? 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 Pa paste? Carpenter's workbench. This is a carpenter. Hey, look. Paste. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I just need one polishing paste. So I'm going to go downstairs, grab some oil, grab another bowl, get some paste... Good things, good things come to those who paste. Copy, paste, copy, paste. It's, 
it's a fun and endearing activity. Bowl. Um, oil. Nope, not this one. Um, oil. Oil? Oil, dude. Oil, dude. Yeah, oil. I should go up to the church. I should do my church service. I need faith for my lens, apparently. It seems that to create a lens is such an involved process that you have to have faith in order to craft them properly. What an interesting concept. I wonder if it's because this game is acknowledging, like, it's acknowledging, like, the, um, the medievalness of it? I guess the fact that the game takes place in a timeline where, like, a time where things are a little in the past, you know? We don't have all that up-to-date technology. Thank you all for your patronage as usual. I'm going to use this to create lasers to kill you all. It is all about lasers. You know, actually, I think the beacon gets opened by a laser. Maybe. Maybe it gets opened by a laser. I feel like a laser was a part of the process. Trust the process, they say. That's what they say, at least. I'm not, and to be honest, the more that somebody tells me to trust the process, the less I trust that process. Kind of backwards, don't you think? I have polishing paste now. May I have a lens? Thank you for the lens. I also needed bowls for the steel parts. That's what I had the bowls for. Oh, I got blue points for that. Nice. Oh, lenses can be used in the study table to create more, more good good. More research points. That's good. Good. Very good. Well, while that's cooking, I'm gonna go check on my vineyards. I'm gonna sell some wine, dude. The bestest of wines. Okay. Give me. Give me. Give me. And give me. Thank you for giving me. Now I want to see if this thing actually works. I can deposit... Oh, I cannot deposit anything yet. Alrighty then. That's fine. We just we just want them. That's, that's totally fine. Totally okay. Totally fine. That's fine. Plant. Good. Plant. Good. Plant. Great. Plant. Awesome. Crop waste. Get it out of here. Good grapes. Good grapes call for an even graper pun. Satisfied with myself. I will oftentimes make puns at work and the, uh, the, the adjoining awkward silences that follow are some of my favorite moments. They are always a good time. Let's make some more grape juice. The bestest of grape juice. Everyone's gonna love this juice. You're gonna love this juice. You never tried good juice until you've had our juice. Juice of the family. Yes. Juice of the family. Bring the flesh upstairs. I don't know why I haven't used this flesh yet. I can turn that into... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need paper. I use paper and the meat to stamp the meat, and then I sell it to the people at the Dead Horse. I don't think I've ever actually sold quality meat before. I don't even think I've ever seen quality meat with my own two eyes. I don't think I could even produce such meat, even if I tried. I'm out of stuff to make into paper. I do have some skin over here. Don't I? Don't I have skin over here? Skin? Oh, I got plenty of skin. Give me some skin, dude! Nice! And now, since you've given me skin, I'm sure you will more than happily give me paper, right? Here's the clearest piece of paper. Paper. It's a bookmark. Got it from a convention. Geek Girl Strong! I learned how to sit properly. Well, I mean, not maybe not properly, but... Attempting to be as fit as I possibly can while sitting down. Let's make paper. Oh, I have to make all this paper before I can get the... the, the mm. I did not plan that out. 
Have I researched pixing paper? I never have. Let's research. Oh, I haven't. Oh, that's that's lenses. That gets taken. That gets destroyed. Let's research. I. Oh, I need to go to sleep now. It's a good thing I can teleport myself to my bed. That's that's awesome. That's honestly one of the best things. Yeah, I look forward to seeing what this cocktail is going to become. Like, when it's properly sweetened. It definitely needs... Definitely, definitely needs some sweetness in there. I'm so refreshed. I know. I know you're refreshed. You gotta, you gotta be... You know, it's a fresh and fresh and fresh and... Speaking, speaking of refreshments... Not, I'm not sure how this is related to refreshments in the least bit at all, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with it anyway. On Friday, I actually have off from work. I have the first day, or actually, it's not the first day I've had off of work, but one of the first days off of work that I have had in, in a couple weeks now, and I'm gonna spend that day off doing what I like to do, and that is, that is streaming. So I, and it'll be, it'll be on Friday, so it'll be on Christmas Eve. So I will actually have one of my first presented i mean technically we did this on saturday like two weeks ago or whatever but forgetting that one forgetting that whole charity thing that we did morning times and good vibes it'll be wonderful i'm gonna I, I, it'll be good i'm gonna play some minecraft it's been a while since i've played minecraft i've had a hankering to play minecraft for a little while it's kind of like minecraft is my comfort game like no matter what i wind up doing i will always go back to minecraft one way or another and it's just i don't know it's it's a pleasant it's a pleasant game to play. I feel like I'm always able to do stuff, always able to continue. And honestly, Graveyard Keeper has kind of kind of done that for me too. Honestly, this is a, this is a nice game. I feel like I could go back to this. Although there are clear goals to be accomplished in in this in this game, and I feel like the deliverables are obvious enough that I w it wouldn't need to warrant like long drawn out. I mean, I guess it's really no different. I haven't completed this game yet, and I haven't completed the mod pack I'm playing either on Minecraft. So I guess it's really no different. But anyway, let's make meat. Good, proper meat. Stamped meat. Package of meat. Nice. Can I research that? I bet I can research that. I have not yet researched that. Ooh. What does it mean to package up your meat? What does it mean to ship it out? What does it mean to melt the hot wax upon the now very lightly colored sausage? I don't know. But I want to find out. I want to know! Oh, I can't research it. Alright, well apparently there's nothing to learn about meat such as this. To the horse. Hello, everyone. Capitan! Ah, yeah, I know. Um, Wagner, I haven't talked to you in a hot minute. Leave. K. Wow, everyone's hanging out. You got, you got Alice, you got Miss Charm, you got, you got, what's your face, Miss Chain? Are you gonna sell me the same damn recipes again? You nugget. Charm, I got a great story for you. I have some questions? No more questions, Your Honor. I have a great story. It's a love story. I hope it'll get the audience into the right mood. What would I ever do without you? I really don't know. Oh, so I gave you a gold story and you gave me a silver story in between. Seems like I'm irreplaceable. Haha! <laughs> By the way, do you know the local farmer? Yes, I trade with him. I have bought seeds from him. Good. Talk to him. Man to man. Croissant! I need his daughter Alyssa. Alisa, the company me on my to my royal concert. She's so good and so beautiful. Maybe some nobleman will appreciate her beauty. Even the king himself, perhaps. The poor girl is mute, but that can be a big advantage for her. The strong and silent type. So, so what's the problem? Oh, it's not a big deal. I just need her father to formally grant her permission so she can travel with me to the town. All right. He doesn't approve of her musical interests, but maybe you'll be able to convince him. About your father. Miss Charm, you seem so lonely. Do you have a family? My dear friend, you are so kind to me. It seems like you're the only one who talks to me like I'm a person. I feel so lonely, alone in a crowd of admirers. It's my curse. My mother died. I messed up my relationships with my relatives. All my life, I've been looking for a charming prince, but I'm cursed. It's not a joke. My mother told me that her necklace would help me find love, and I sold it. I may know who your father is. 
My father is a dishonorable, deceitful man. He left my mom, and she never got over it. He did nothing good for me. I don't care who he is. Okay. Gotcha. Well, I can't wait to go tell the astrologer that. <laughs> You're a deceitful man. Your mother, your daughter hates you. <laughs> My daughter hates me. I failed as a father. Who knew that your daughter would not like you if you're literally never around? I would have never known had somebody like you not giving me the, the tools necessary to find out. Farmer, Alyssa? Oh, cutscene time? I'm here to ask your permission to let your daughter go to the town with Miss Charm. It's a great opportunity for her. I need her here. We have a lot of work to do on the farm. Besides that, I don't trust this actress. She already spent too much time helping out of the tavern. I don't like it. Hey. Um, you want help? Do you want to help Alyssa? Uh, yes, I do. I would much rather do that. Mm. Uh -huh. I like what she plays, did. I want to help her too. Uh -huh. If you help my uncle to fix the mill, uh, then father will be so happy. I'll ask about Alyssa and I better let her go. Thank you. I'll talk to your uncle. Nice. I'm gonna talk to the miller now. Thanks, dude. Thanks, farmer's son. You're pretty rad, dude. Pretty rad. Dang awesome. Nice. <laughs> Noski broski. Nice. What's up, dude? I get so tired without any work to do. I'd like to help fix up the mill. Do you know what the mill... What the mill needs for repairs? You're welcome to give it a shot. I tried to fix it myself, but I only made things worse. I have this manual for the thing, but it's in Latin. Can't read Latin. Dead language. Oh my. I, and back home, we blame Ikea. It says we need stone and steel parts. Okay, let's see the instructions. Where's the last page? Ah, oh, there weren't any pictures of it. I thought it wasn't important. And the page paper was so soft. I see. Geometry isn't really my strong suit. I think I'll need astrologers' help to figure this stuff out. Hey, look at that. I. Oh, I can buy hops and hop seeds. Hops and hop seeds. I can buy hops. I can make beer. Give me the hop seeds. I will buy your hop seeds. Yes. Thank you. Now I will go back to the dead horse because I completely forgot to, to, to sell the goods. Trade. Sell. Sell, sell, 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 sell. Thank you for all of your gold. It makes me happy and sad at the same time. So I need help from the astrologer. I can talk to him about the daughter who doesn't like him anymore. Who never did. And also to ask about Latin. Because I'm sure he reads Latin. That makes sense. That makes total sense. Time to make my way back home. Slowly but surely. Yeah, was actually, was there anything else I needed to do for the farmer specifically? Or I guess this was uh, the miller, right? Farmer, farmer, farmer. Farmer's son. No. Miller. No. Farmer. None. Okay. Interesting how this... Wait, does the, does the astrologer's mission... No, okay. So, apparently... I thought I got a mission for that. I guess, do I have this thing that needs to be translated? Story, pigskin, no, okay. Well, this is kind of confusing. Time to go research these hops downstairs. That way I'll get more knowledge about the world around me. Then tomorrow is claw day. I wonder if I can package up this wine that I have. I'm not sure if there's any good to package up the wine. Because, like, I think selling the packages is... Like, selling the crates, I feel like, is a lot more beneficial than selling it in pieces. Although, I could be totally wrong about that. I'm not... I, I have no knowledge whatsoever. Let's clean up my inventory a little bit. Put that over here. Put that over there. do 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 so let's see what we do. Um, do I craft their packages down here again? Or do I craft them? I don't remember. What do I do? What do I do? Is it here? This is cargo. 
Yes. But where do I craft it? I think I craft it up here. Oh, no, 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 no. It was on the surface. That's where it is. It's on the surface. Back to the surface world. But first, maybe, maybe sleep first. Sleep first, then surface world. And then everything that comes in between. Yo! Know, now that the Nochino has had a chance to settle down a little bit, there's less sediment in it. It's all kind of collected towards the bottom. It's a little more clear now. It's actually got a little bit of a vanilla flavor, a vanilla -y flavor to it, which is something that I read in the book. I read in the book that I got the recipe from, it said it's going to taste a little vanilla y, and I didn't believe it. But now that it's kind of muddled, it's kind of mellowed down a little bit, I see that. I totally see that. It's nice. I like it. Now, where can I grow hops? Can I grow hops? Oh, I forgot that metal parts gives me um, the blue points. Let's also make, what was it? Iron chisel? Iron chisel. Iron chisel? Iron chisel. That's what I was doing. Steel chisel! Excuse me. Oh, and if I use... If I use the silver one, I can potentially get a gold one. I don't know what good that does for me. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this, and it'll be good. I got blue points for it? I got a single blue point for it. But I can research it now. Nice. What kind of information will I get for the beauty of the chisel? Oh, and steel parts too. I have some extra. I might actually attempt to go for the gold, the gold star chisel. I don't know if it does. Like, I don't know what good that does for me. But I will find out. This will give me red points. Did I need more red points? I don't think I did, really. Steel parts. Oh, that's got, that's got a lot of, got a research points to it. Can't be decomposed, but I got another story. A lot of red points. Red points are good. Red points are very good. I got some more stories, so I can turn those stories into good things. Let's see what kind of stories I can make. This story is about a man named Fred. Uh... I'm out of ink. I'm out of ink? I'm completely out of ink again? I thought I had ink over here. Ink? Ink? I thought I had ink over here. Hello? No, I guess not. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, bless me. I don't make ink again. It's probably on one of these tables. Ink? Pen and ink. Oh, I need feathers. That's what I'm missing. I'm missing the pen and the ink. I need that. All right, I guess this will have to wait then. Put the notes away. Put the paper away. Put the paper away. I research this stuff. Take it back up to the surface world. Sweet home. Now I want to see if I can make myself a gold chisel by expending some parts. I mean, I suppose all this does for me... Oh, you know, actually, if I become an ironsmith, I get industrious engineer blacksmith. Can I unlock blacksmith just so i have a better chance at that blacksmith no and yeah engineer is all the way up here Nah, i'll take my chance i mean i don't think i can destroy the chisel i have a hundred percent chance of getting the silver one back so there's a 30 percent chance that i will just improve it so might as well improve it let's do it and do i get blue points i got a steel chisel more red points achievement unlocked sweet so like i could try to go for the gold but Nah, I don't need that. Not right now. But I will go back up to... Oh, I need wooden wedges. I need wedges. Give me more wedges. Wedge. You know, the concept of the wedge reminds me about this pillow that I have. The wedge... The, the pillow is called wedge pillow because it is a pillow that looks like a wedge. Perhaps one day, wedge pillow, my right-hand man... Or I like to, I like to call the wedge pillow my right-hand man for no particular reason. It's just, it, it supports, Wedge Pillow supports me. Wedge Pillow gives me good feelings when times are, when times are grim, Wedge Pillow is there for me. That's all I could ask for, Wedge Pillow. Oh, these come from wood belays? W wooden wedges? Fuck it, let's make a ton of them. This will be great. So many, so many wedges to choose from. 
And I'm going to bring them all up to the quarry so that I can use them for quarrying. Can I make an iron axe? I feel like I do a lot of... Oh, maybe... Do I have the iron pickaxe? I should make the iron pickaxe so that it's less energy spent doing other things, right? Do I have... So I don't have... Yeah, I can make a steel pickaxe so it's less energy because I'm going to use a lot of energy for it. Pickaxe 2? I can make a pickaxe 2. Wait, do I already have a pickaxe 2? I think I already have a pickaxe 2. Yes. Oh, pickaxe 1. No, I don't have a pickaxe 2, electric boogaloo. Okay, pickaxe 2. There we go. And I'll work on that. Oh, I was meaning to take a look and see what I could package up. Let's find out. Package? Craft? Can I put wine in the package? No. Can't put wine in the package. But... I can sell the wine. My gold star wine. Which everybody's dying to try. Quite literally. Dropping dead. I'm looking for a salty fork. You would know? I've heard rumored that you have a salty fork. I've reached the point in my life that a salty fork is something I desperately need. Well, well, this salty fork means a lot to me. It was one of the two things that I found with my brother. We were looking for food at the town dump, and I found this fork. I think it came from the Great Blast. I'm from a very poor family, and this fork made me who I am. I looked at it for hours, imagining what it's for. This fanciful fork of mine. I decided to travel and find some answers, so I left the town. I discovered that forks are for eating. Also, I learned a lot of other wonderful things. You know, sometimes I think this fork actually made things tastier. <laughs> now I'm on the brink of a new phase of my life. I can give it to you, but first I want to be sure that you're worthy of my gift. A hundred? Damn. Well, here, um, I'm going to sell you all of my most precious goods. All at once. Here you go. Thank you for your patronage. I will move on now. Actually, can I research the stuff that you sell? I feel like... Can I research... The, that's 50? Oh my god. Does anything provide... Grapeseed is not complete yet? I've never researched grapeseed? Can I research any of this stuff? I want blue points, please. No, there's no blue points here. Whatever. Alright. Back to the Schwed home. Going back to the Schwed home. That's what we gotta do with Schwed home. Hmm. So now, it's going to be... What am I currently working on? I'm currently working on... Attempting to... What was I attempting to do? I've completely forgotten what I was meaning to do. No, don't sleep. There's no need to sleep. Wake up. Wake up, my friend. Don't go to sleep just yet. Oh, the chisel. I'm trying to get blue points. I need... I need slash want blue points. Oh, actually, I was trying to collect blue points. Oh, for the jewelry. For the jewelry table. That's what I wanted the blue points for. That's what I had in mind. So, I will go continue to make more blue points. By writing another story. This one's about a dude named David. Once there... Oh, wait. I need ink. Right. I need feathers. I need to go to the town for feathers. Right. Right. Dead horse. <laughs> dead horse! The horse is dead. Don't beat the dead horse. Ah! Where are the feathers at again? Somebody sells feathers around here. But who is it? Is it y'all? Y'all are selling your eggs? Prithee? Oh, you're probably selling eggs and feathers, yeah? Yeah? I feed a bunch of chickens. Got a mighty fine set of chickens there. I'll buy all your feathers off you, please. Thank you. I will work in intervals of not of three, so this will be fine. Thank you. Back home I go. I need this for my ink. I wonder if I can get chickens on my own. Can I? Can I harvest chickens? Can I? I this isn't really a farming game, I guess. Well, I guess mm, there's agriculture. It's not farming though. It's not farming. It's agriculture. That's not farming. Where is it? Oh, I got a lot. Okay, this is perfect. I have nine pen and inks. Oh, God. That's a lot of pen and ink. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And I don't even get blue points for it either. So sad. Yeah, I definitely did not have enough space for all that. Oh, goodness. I most certainly don't have space for that. Ah! 
Ink, 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 ink. Ink. I'll store all the ink up there for now. And perhaps over here as well. I'm hopefully... I'm just preparing for a lot of stories. I'm just preparing to write the best novels of a time. This one's about David. David was a dude who played dice on the weekends. This story's about a gal named Gabriel. Gabriel liked to write books. This one's about a dog named Geppetto. Geppetto wasn't just a dog. He was also a human. Based off of some weird genealogical experiments conducted in a country that doesn't believe in ethics. This story is about Geppetto's son, who was never born because of birth defects. Severe birth defects. This chapter follows Geppetto's son as he is conceived. Oh, I need I need more energy, and for that, I need to go to sleep. I didn't get any more info from for Snake. Oh, I need the I need the sword for Snake. Sword for Snake. That's what we needed. So let's go upstairs. Take a little sleep. Eventually, I'm sure there would be more ways for me to not have to go to sleep so often. I feel like most of my time is spent sleeping. Wow, we're coming full circle. This is what I talked about in the beginning. How much time do you spend sleeping in a particular week, in a particular year? And how much does that compare to how long you work? I wonder. I wonder if there's a correlation. Is there a work? Is there a work time to sleep time ratio that I should be aware of? Maybe. Potentially. Anyway, this chapter is about Geppetto. Geppetto's conception. Um, this chapter is about the disappointment that Geppetto had felt. Geppetto, yeah, the disappointment Geppetto had felt when his son could not be born. Unfortunate. What a world. What a world. We're at 33 right now. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. Now, I know I can take- I have a lot of these chapters, and I know I can turn them into books! Hardcover, softcover, softcover board. And I need- oh, did I not research softcovers? Oh! I should research softcovers. Somehow I did that. Softcover, softcover, softcover. Nice. Is anything here researchable, or is it- it's, it's only, uh, destroyable? Nice! Red points! I love that. That was a lot of red points, well. Wow. And I can make soft covers by using paper. Let's see, how many, how many no, how many chapters do I have? How many good chapters? I have one good chapter and I have 14 others. So I should make, I'm trying to go for the blue points. So let's make as many soft covers as possible. I don't need that much paper. Let's do, let's do 20s worth. 10, 10 covers, 10 soft covers. Let's see what we get. We get red points from that. That's that's all fine and dandy. That's good. Probably. And then I guess I don't know. I, I guess there's no level up from the books. I guess that's kind of it. Ah, it's sleepy time. I wonder if there are different potions I can. You know, I bet that I bet that probably helps. I bet that there are different potions that I can craft that will allow me to do some of this work faster, more efficiently. Maybe I might be wrong. One of the things I like about this game, except when I don't, is not knowing what comes next. Sometimes that works against me. Oftentimes that works against me. But I feel like it's all it's all for the fun of it all. I feel like it's all for the fun. Let's go create some more stories. These ones are entire books, my goodness. Could I I could only imagine an entire book, an entire trilogy series, an entire triple trilogy series about Geppetto's son and how Geppetto's son never came to this earth because of severe genealogical effects due to crossbreeding that should have never happened because of ethical questions in other countries. Not any country in specific, particularly. Just, you never know. Oh, so actually with this, I have no chance of creating a good book. Will, will I get a bronze book anyway or will it just disappear? Oh my god, look at all the blue points! Oh! That was a lot of blue points! Oh, this is perfect! Oh my goodness! Look at those blue points! Oh! There's so much blue! I love it! I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble getting blue points now that I know how to write books! Oh! This is lovely! 
I don't think I've ever been happier to write more than 10 words on a page ever. Actually, I don't exactly know how many words are on these pages. It's very possible these books themselves are just 10 words throughout the entire novel, except, except, like, the, 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 the pages themselves are, like, um, like, each, each page is a letter. Oh, are these falling to the ground? Oh, what can I use these for? Can we decompose? Can I use a book to craft anything? Can I use books to craft? 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 What can I use books for? Oh! Prayer for repose! Oh, and different levels of books give you- Oh! Look at that! Okay, I'll make a prayer for repose. I like that. Might be good, might be bad. I don't know. Get blue points for this? Yeah! Oh, goodness gracious, there's so many good things happening! There are so many blue points! I don't think I've ever seen this many blue points before. <laughs> is, I am ecstatic right now. This is wonderful. I feel like I've struggled with blue points for so long, and I feel like now I'm finally at a point where that won't be an issue anymore. <laughs> yes! Oh, this is awesome. This is super cool and fun. Super cool and fun. Super cool. Love that. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back downstairs and make more books. With all these blue points, I guess I can do a lot of different research stuff now because of these blue points. Yes. Looking forward to that. Alright, well, let's go back over here and continue. I can put the prayers in the, the right place. You go in here. Uh, prayer for imagination. What does that do exactly? So the prayer for repose does what? Uh, 20 to guarantee. Advertising. All deceased are welcome. All deceased are welcome in your graveyard. I don't know what that means. Um, prayer for imagination. These words will boost your inspiration. Sermon money plus 10. Faith times 1. Advertising. All deceased welcome to your, welcome in your grave. I don't know what any of that means, but that's cool. Very good. Let's make more books so we can get more blue points. This is what it's been all about. We've been working our way up to the... It's It's been a long time coming. Oh, I didn't want to make flyers, but now I have flyers. Okay. Flyers. Technically, I could... I could have always made flyers to do this, but... Eh. That doesn't give me a lot of flower, flyers. Alright, now with all these books... What do I do with all these books? I can decompose them for science points. Let's decompose for science. Doop. Now I have all the science points. That's good. This is good. This is a good thing. Very good thing. Flyer. Flyer. Flyers are used for advertising. I remember that. Now let's just put more books away. I don't know what else to use the books for right now. They're all... I, I don't need them. I do not need them. Anyway, with all these blue points, I am amazing. I can unlock anything now. Oh, I'll unlock the jewelry table. Yes! Awesome. I'm also going to become a blacksmith. I am also going to... Uh, pray for retribution. Perk big guy. Oh, interesting. Mm, a big guy. I want to be a zealot for faith. Combo prayer. Yes. Actually, is there anything else more important to use? While I have all the blue points, what should I use them for? Embalming tables. That's that's something useful. Let's do that. I like that. Gentle butcher. That's a perk. That's good. Surgery. Make less mistakes. Right? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm into that right now. I like that. What other perks are there out there? I want perks. I want perks. Give me the perks. Writer's inspiration. I can make a desk. I like that. Farming in nature. Any more perks over here? Blending. Um, rules of burning. The fireman. The spurting flame charms you. You know how to ha know a lot about fire, so you know how to increase your furnace productivity and can smelt more ore per load. That sounds awesome. I love that. What about over here? Anything? 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 Zombie mining. Cool. It's researched. Wow. I feel like I know everything now. I feel like I've unlocked the world with this power. Wow. Can I do anything else? Faith. Yes, incense. There we go. Cool! That's exciting. Now, where do I build the jewelry table? Is it in the basement? Or maybe upstairs? Scroll shelf. I didn't unlock anything up here. Uh, how about upstairs? 
Can I craft my jewelry table out here? Jewelry table, jewelry table, jewelry table. Jewelry table! I need lenses. Oh, good thing I have exactly two. Uh, pieces of those steel things. For that, I need bowls. Can I make more bowls up here? Can I just make bowls? No, I need more. More wedges. Now I have the wedges. Let's also craft this iron pickaxe. Or pickaxe two. In whatever sort of types of boogaloos we've got. I will equip that. Put this one over here. It's kind of dying anyway. I will bring the flitches with me up to the north. I need materials for those complex edges. Not those ones. Jointings. Uh, I need two sets of complex iron parts. Two complex iron parts. Make some of that. Nice, nice, nice. Got some more of those. Two more jointings. Make a couple of those. And then I need the steel. And today is blue day. Moon day. So I will benefit from talking to the astrologer today. I'm gonna go down, get some books. Bowl, books? No, bowls. Bowls. I need bowls. Grab those bowls from down below. Bring them up. Make some gears. It'll be great. I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. We're all gonna love this. Bowls. Hey. Sweet home. So can I make two sets of these now? I can. Which is eight iron parts completely. That's a lot of steel parts. Iron parts, steel parts, I don't know. It's a lot of parts. Now I can sleep. Talk to the astrology in the morning. Or complete uh, complete whatever I was crafting. Complete the two joints in the morning. Stop at the quarry. Drop off stuff up there. Then go talk to the astrologer. And then I think that'll be good. Making progress, slowly but surely. We are making progress. Oh wow, those parts were already done. Oh, I can mail I can smelt more parts now because of the perk that I just got. That's why I'm getting like double. And why it's coming up faster too. Oh sweet. Alright, uh jewelry table. Yes. This is awesome. Jewelry table will be placed right here. Sweet. And then I can make the sword at it. I think this is the first big item, like the first end game item that I'll be crafting. A sword of destiny. No, it's Damask. It's not destiny at all. Oh, can I? Damask sword with gem. I need a steel sword, which I have. I need a faceted diamond, and I need three of those jewel things. I can make gold jewelry details with steel parts, faith, and whatnot. Um, but I need more gold. Uh, do I have any gold nuggets? I do have some gold nuggets, so let's let's get some gold in there. And I will have exactly enough for those two pieces. Hopefully I get some extra. Crossing my fingers. Those gold gold uh, gold jewelry details. I need faith from downstairs. I need three of those, right? I need three of them. So I'm gonna go down and grab six faith. Oh, actually, it's almost it's almost nighttime. So let's go to the lighthouse and talk to the Isorligi. Tell him about his charm. Well, sir, I told her I might know who her father is. How did she take it? Let's say she wasn't excited. She told me that you never tried to find her. You left her mother. It's all true. Still, maybe I can somehow earn her forgiveness. If I find out anything, you'll be the first person to know. New task. Help Astraler find what it earned Miss Charm's forgiveness. Oh, thank you, young man. You're so kind. I need you to do some calculations for the mill. You're good at calculating angles and stuff, right? Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. I'm not so sure. Take the calculation. About... Oh, paper with the calculations. Nice. About the three parts of the barrel. You promised to tell me about the items I'm looking for. I think I saw a necklace with a blood sapphire. Esmeralda had one. She found it lying on the ground the morning after the Great Blast. I think she gave it to her daughter. Maybe, maybe. Lots of rocks and other strange things were scattered around Witch Hill after the blast. There were a lot of fires, a lot of destruction. I never saw my friend the Graveyard Keeper that night. 
But like Esmeralda, I found something strange, a measuring instrument near an archaeological dig site. I think it may be your golden angle. Where is it now? I left it in a cap at the mountain fort with my other belongings. Where we left, we left the cap in quite a hurry. I think it should be there. I doubt anybody would be brave and isn't enough to break the seal of the royal university. Okay. I'm gonna try to go upward and get to that fort. That sounds excellent. But first, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the dead horse so I can make my way over to the miller. Talk to the miller about the different things that I have to do there. Actually, can I use this? I cannot. I will talk to the miller about the plans for his mill and then give him the materials, eventually, for that mill. Probably the next day, tomorrow or so. Oh, Millie boy! I have plans for you. Hello, sir. Ah, yes. Tra oh, what? Oh, what am I to do? Wait a minute. So wait, I have the paper with calculations. Who am I supposed to give that to? Calculations, calculations. Farmer's daughter, Adam, whatever people stuff. Oh, who do I give this to? Who do I give these calculations to? Do I use them to craft something? Or maybe I talk to the farmer about this? Sir? No. No. Um, farmer's son? Wait, where are you going? Ugh! Finish your chores then. Who am I supposed to talk to that with? I don't know. Huh. Huh. All right, well. Now time to go back to the horse. Maybe, maybe this captain can help me with the calculations. You? No. Wagner? No. Hmm. Maybe an engineer can help me. Is there an engineer? There is an engineer. Somebody can help me. Maybe the, the miller, the, 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 um, woodsmith can help me with the calculations. Hello, sir. Are oh, you probably asleep, aren't you? You probably went inside. Nope, you're sitting right there. Hey, bud. Corey? Nope. Nothing at all. That's cool. Alright, bye, Corey. Peace out, Girl Scout. What about you, sir? Can you help me? No? Fooey. No help in this damn world. Nothing at all. No help at all. Can I actually go up this way? I, I guess this... Was where? What's their face? What's their face was talking about it? Yo, what are you doing? Who are you? Woodcutter? Oh, I forgot you lived up here. I completely forgot you existed. Who are you? Yo, what are... Kuko? Ask about the necklace. I heard that your master, the Lord Commander, recently bought a necklace. I'll pay you well if you bring it to me. Who is this guy? My master wouldn't buy something as useless as a necklace, but the young master, the son of the Lord Commander, he might. But he left a couple of years ago. Seems that I'll never find in this necklace. What can you buy? Oh, you sell. Oh, I could buy the Damask Sword with the gem, but I wouldn't because I'm so close to crafting it myself. Is there an opening up here that I can go through? Can I come through? Can I? Can I join you guys in the fort, please? That'd be cool. Kukul. Kukul? Kukul. Kukul. Kukul, 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 Hey, bud, can I come through? What is this place? I already know about that. Okay, I guess I can't go that way. Fine. Fine. I'm taking my ball and I'm going home. Um, so I will continue with this whole mask thing. I've got gold ingots. I've got three. I needed faith from downstairs, and I did not grab it. Oh, woe is me. Always me. So if I grab my faith from down here, I should be able to make those bearings, and then I need to find a way to get a diamond. I have no idea how to get diamonds. Actually, actually, I know I can buy it from... I know that I can buy a diamond from the merchant, and I might. I know that costs 50 silver. But I think it's 50 silver worth it. I think it is. I think it very well might be. Gold jewelry details. Which I need three? Yes, I need three. Here we go. Oh, this takes a lot of work. 
Wow, look at all that effort it takes. It takes a very long time to work this kind of stuff. Despite the fact that gold is a very ductile material, it's still metal, and it's still hard. Got one. Let's just chill then. That's another one. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll get one more in a second. It's coming. It's coming. Now I have plenty of gold details to work with. And now all I need is the diamond. All I need is the diamond. And I know I can buy that from the merchant. For 50 silver, I believe it was. That or probably I can find it in the dungeon somewhere. More than likely, I can. Alright, well, let's put you here in place of the gold stuff that was there. I don't know why I have this leather, this iron armor out here. That can go inside. Let's put this inside. I have a little shelf for this kind of stuff, just for the occasion. Nope. Gear. There. Airware. Um, got some parts that I can put in here. Complex iron parts. Wooden beam I don't need up there. Uh, paper with calculations. What am I supposed to do with this paper of calculations? I, I really don't... I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. I'll just kind of keep it in my inventory until the time, time comes that I realize what I need to do with it. Easy. Easy mode. Now I'm going to go up to... I guess... So now what I need is money. Because I don't have enough money for that diamond. And I want to get enough money by the, the, the next day. So, what I'll do is... I'll check to see what kind of bodies I've got. I'll, I'll make a couple of wood billets. I'll make a few wood billets. Make some more burning piles. Burn some bodies. You know, the fun stuff. Oh, it's time to sleep. Oh, well, I guess mm, it's time for a... Time for a sermon. Then it's time to sleep. I don't really need too, too many pieces of faith, so I'm going to try to see what happens if I do a different prayer. I am curious. Let's put this... Let's take this one out and put this one back in. Actually, actually, let's do the, the prayer, prayer for repose. I don't know what the, I don't know what any of this is going to do. I am totally... I'm totally not averse to this. I don't know. I don't know at all. All right. Time to pray for the dead. Praying for the dead now. Come one, come all. Hear the word of those who have passed. Our church is great. That's real. That's it. There's no other text. Nice, 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 nice. Pray for the blessing. All right, cool, cool. All right, some people were impressed. Great sermon. I believe it. I believe it was a good sermon. Good sermon indeed. Wonderful serving. Wonderful indeed. Go ahead. Pass your money. Thank you. And now I have... Donkey brings corpses with more of that and... Oh... I need to go get some carrots. I'm glad that I have a description of what that does now. Oh my god, I don't have a lot of carrots. Oh! I got... Oh! I gotta go... I'm gonna go get some carrots. Oh, but I need energy for that. I will eat carrots to get carrots. That was the wrong... That was the wrong pile. But it all worked out anyway. So, excellent. That worked out wonderfully. Now, I will put the carrots in the carrot bin. When the carrot is in the carrot bin, my donkey friend will come and give me good bodies. Well, I, okay, well, I guess the assumption was that they're good bodies. I have six of them in there? Oh, I am going to conflagrate these guys. I am going to set them all on fire. There is no stopping the flames now. The flames of terror. The flames of passion. The flames of eternity. Or just, just, just the flames of burning flesh and whatnot. That's, that's always a good, I mean, I've always found that those types of flames are pretty good. Although, I, I have never burned a body. I have burned things that have been alive previously, but never burned something alive. Kind of goes against my 
moral standards. If such moral standards are a thing. Wow, I have a lot of bodies here that I had no idea were even here. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, they're all kind of dead and decrepit. All right, well, you will be burned. You and your friends will be burned. You should feel happy that you're being burned. Oh, I need to build all the... Place to burn corpses. There's one. There's two. I need more wood. Apparently. I, I thought this was going to go a lot easier. Need more bodies. What did I need the bodies for again? Why was I burning bodies again? Oh! Burial certificates. Burial certificates to burn bodies. I can sell those burial certificates and get paid for it. That's why I was burning bodies. No other reason. Definitely not to hide the evidence. The evidence. I say that as if there is evidence. You've got nothing on me. That clear? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There is nothing to be found. There's, there's no dirt. There's no dirt to be found here. You couldn't possibly dig up any bad stuff. And I think we're all in agreement there. I'm I'm in agreement there. I don't I don't think there's any. There's there's no need. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Let's not pay too close attention to the sins of the past. Unless you're the person who committed them. In which case you might learn something about the sins of today from the sins of the past. All good things. I have no energy. Wait, I have no energy? What do you That's just a lie. I did have energy. I had so much energy. I literally can't not have energy. That's not true. I was meaning like an IRL standpoint. I am pretty, I'm pretty ecstatic right now. A little bit tired now. It is 10 o'clock. It's almost my bedtime. I've been trying to fix my, I mentioned before that I'm trying to sleep my, finish, fix my sleep schedule up a little bit. So what I've been trying to do is get to bed by 11. Although on special nights, I will, I will stay up a little bit. Stream nights are not bedtime nights. I I just let I just let it happen. See how far we take things. Just read read the room. Are things going well? Yes, continue. Are we making progress? Yes, continue. My goal is to be able to get get that sword finished by tonight. I think if I can if I can get that sword finished, I think I'll probably end it there just so I have a really good point to pick up from next time. And if I can, that that might be really soon, or it might be not very soon, uh, depending on how quickly I can uh, get all the good the good goods. I do need energy for that. I need mm, I need food. I need stuff to be able to eat. Let's get beets. Beets are edible. Beets are very edible. There we go. I'll take those with me. Is cabbage also edible? Probably. Oh no. Oh, do I have space in my inventory? I don't have space in my inventory. Oh, now I have space in my inventory. Where did that... Oh, 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 I forget. Yeah, things don't move around if you don't... Things don't move around if you don't have... If you don't have the menu open. Oh, can I plant the hop seeds here? I cannot plant hop seeds here. Ah, interesting. Very good to know. All right, hustle time. Hustle, hustle, hustle time. Time to hustle. Gonna burn some bodies, gonna burn bodies, oh yeah, gonna burn them, burn the bodies. Nope, take off the table. I'd, oh, we actually, you got a lot of... You got a lot of good stuff there, dude. I'm gonna take you to the graveyard. I like, I like the skulls you've got. I like your skulls, kid. I like them a lot. You got a lot of spunk to your skulls. I like that. We like to see that around here. Here, you can go on the ground. There we go. You're on the ground. Enter. Enter what? Burial certificate. Sweet! Now if I go back... I know there were some things that I could have harvested from it, like blood and whatnot for alchemy, but that's not the priority right now. The priority is, um... is money. Money, 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 money. Technically, the pri there are priority is always money. One way or another. I don't have energy. That's why I eat beets! I eat beets so I can have infinite energy. 
Place for that. Place to that. Place for that. Uh, do I have enough for another one? I do. Excellent. I can burn three more bodies. That should be plenty. I don't exactly remember how much money those burial certificates made me, so... I think what I should also do... Is I should also try to see... Maybe I can sell some of these reagents. Like the salt and stuff like that. Maybe. I... That's, that's iffy. That one might be iffy. Oh, I can actually burn all the bodies that I got. I was thinking about selling meat. Could sell some meat, package that up, let it go. I could also... Uh, what else can I sell? I can sell the food that I make. I can make food. I, I can bring it to the, the thing to get that. I'm just trying to make a quick buck. I'm trying to make 50 silver pieces quickly. In whatever way that I can. I know I can sell my crops to the farmer. I know that. Mm -hmm. And then what about you? You got you got stuff? You got... Mm, I, mm, I'll take your flesh. I will take your flesh. Because that's good. And then I will put you away. Oh, I have no space for the flesh in my inventory. Eh, it's fine. We'll have space for more bodies eventually. I wonder how I missed three bodies. I had three of them that were completely and utterly decrepit. And I completely missed all of them. Completely forgot about them. Can I craft more things here? Place for burning corpses? Nah. It's fine. Stand within the flames. I'm surprised the graveyard keeper doesn't get, like, too hot from this. dun 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 Come on, burn. Burn faster! Oh, that was a lot. That was a lot to burn. Now, make our way to the... Oh, I can teleport to the mountain fort now? Oh, I can just go here. Interesting. Well, that's cool. That's pretty awesome. Hey, Gypsy Dude, Gypsy Baron. You got any things? Got any things for me? Oh, a body. Can you tell me more? No. No, unfortunate. I haven't talked to Dig in a while. Hey, yo, Dig, my buddy who sells the weeds. Maybe. Uh, tell me, uh, tell me, you got anything for me? You sell hemp. You sell hemp. You don't sell weed. You sell hemp. Slightly different, buddy. No, you just still sell weed. All right. Well, thanks, sir. Appreciates it. Very much appreciates it. The village is safe. I doubt that. Can I come in? No, I cannot. Why are you... Oh, you're just walking around. You're on patrol. Hello, ma'am. Nope, you don't want to talk to me. Acceptable. Probably for good reason. I don't know if I have really anything good to say anyway. Can I enter your house? Why won't anybody let me enter their house? I don't mean any harm. I'm just your friendly neighborhood graveyard keeper. Wagner? No. You? No. You? Croissant! Questions? Nope. All right, buddy. Sell, 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 sell. That was not a lot. I need eight more. We're getting there. Thank you for your patronage, as per usual. I can't sell my goods to this guy. I can sell wheat and whatnot to the farmer. I'll go. I'll go to. I'll go back to the home. I'll grab some crops that I've collected up here, like the wheat. I'll, I'll take the wheat. I'll just. I'll take the wheat. I'll take fifty of the wheat. I'll sell that. Um, I'll take the cabbages. I'll sell the excess. I got I got cabbages. I can always get more cabbages. Just, just, I'm trying to make trying to make a buck right now. Trying to make Oh, I can make gold star burgers. Let me try to see if I can make some more burgers. Because those I'm preparing for for the Inquisitor. Oh, I have a hundred percent chance of making these now? Oh, but I need more meat. Well, it's a good thing. I can slice up meat. Oh wait, I thought I collected Oh, I didn't collect the meat. Okay. I need more meat. Eventually. Eventually we will get more meat. Let's see. What else in the meantime? I'm trying to work on the sword. What is, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to work on the sword. I need more monies. What other monies can I collect? If I go downstairs, I should have more type of thing. Oh, you know, no, no, no. You know what? Uh, wine. I can, I can get more juice from the wine. I, I'm sure the, um, the vineyards are all grown. And if I can get some gold star wine over this that ferments overnight, then I think we might, we might be good. Oh my God. Hi there. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> the, the back came out of nowhere. Wow, that, fr that freaked me out. Oh, scary. Are you all grown? You are all grown. Excellent. 
Oh, I don't have any inventory space, do I? Well, I was meaning to, but I did not. Okay, well, I... Mm, okay, what can I do without? I can do without the Batwing. I don't need the Batwing. Destroy. I also don't need wooden sticks. Destroy. There we go. Uh, I got grape seeds and stuff. That's good. Because then I can replant. There we go. I got grapes. I don't yet have the seeds. I need the seeds back. So let's put the beets in here for now. Then I get more seeds. Cabbage. Okay. Put the peat back. That in there. That in there. So these are all growing again. I can put the seeds away. Uh, I can take my beets back. Um, and I'd like to keep my cabbages if that's okay. Put the crop waste away, take the cabbage. Go back downstairs to sweet home. Put all the grapes away. And then make some wine. Oh, wait, wait, I have a diamond. Wait a minute. I have diamonds. Hey, look at that. I've got diamonds already. I didn't even know why I was rushing around. That's awesome. Wow. That was... <laughs> I don't know why I was stressing myself out so much about that. I didn't need to buy diamonds. I already had diamonds. The diamond was with us the whole time. We were the diamonds. The diamonds in the rough. Oh, that is exciting. That is... That's really good. Holy crap. Awesome. Awesome. I guess, I guess I'll be able to make the sword. Wow! What an unexpected turn of events. I guess it should have been completely expected, come to think of it, but... Huh. Huh. I like that. Well, in any case, time to clean up the shit in my inventory. Now that we're in higher spirits. Put that away, put the, put the faith stuff away. Faith goes away. Faith goes away. I can't put that away. We'll put all of the reagents where the reagents belong, like salt. And, oh, I have no room. <clears throat> I have no more room for salt. Can I use salt with anything? Can I put more ash there? Only 100. I do not need the rest of this, so I will just destroy it. I don't know what else to do with it right now. I don't need that much of it. Cool. Very cool. Well, now we can make the sword. Give it to our buddy, Snake. Snake will have the sword. The ritual will continue. And everybody will be happy. Well, maybe not everybody. But I'd say the vast majority of us will be happy. Probably. Let's make a sword. At the jewelry table. Here we go. 30 energy. That didn't take very long at all, actually. Ta-da! The Damask Sword with Jim! That's researchable, right? That's gotta be researchable. Why is it just here? I have a sword already. Wait. Oh, it replaced the sword I already had. I need a steel sword. <laughs> I need a better... I need another sword again. Steel sword. Uh, I need more parts. Better parts. Um. So I need two for that. Um. I guess I need more steel. Let's make some steel. This will only take... It takes about three minutes a piece. I need a couple pieces of steel. And then I need some steel parts. Then I take those steel parts and put it back into a sword. I get the sword back. I can give the Damask sword to Snake. I'm glad that I'm not rushing around for currency. I try not to worry about money too much. I tend to do so. But it's not on purpose. It's not because I need to. It's because I want to. Or perhaps some other reason I'm not yet aware of. It things happen. This is taking a while. I'm gonna I'm gonna do other things. Like what? What else can I work on? Um, I can work on packages or um, containers shipped for um, the merchant. What type of things can I package up? Can I package up um, cabbages? No. I can package up pumpkins. Pumpkins are a thing I can package. Onions are things I can package. I mean, that would be silver star pumpkins or silver star onions. Interesting. Oddly specific. Complex iron parts I can do. A box of goods, box of vegetables. Are they the only things I can do? I can do bowls. That's a fucking hell of a lot of bowls. 
That is a lot of bowls, my god. Box of goods, this stuff, urns. It's a lot of urns. It's a lot of stuff. Box of goods. Oh, I can just... Oh, I can just package up... Oh, it's got 64 nails. It's got a ton of nails in it. I can make nails. Do I have a lot of iron, actually? How much iron do I have? Is it wise to do a bunch of nails? No, it's not really wise to do a bunch of nails. Not as of yet. Maybe eventually. But I could go for the pumpkins, though. For the pumpkins... I have some Silver Star pumpkins over here. I don't need to put... I need to sell that again. Or you know what? I'll probably... I'm going to sell the cabbage and stuff anyway, because I do have quite a lot of it. And I don't need all of it. I don't need to keep all that stuff around. This, these cabbages do not exactly spark joy, per se. They don't spark joy, so I'll keep them. I'll keep them at bay. So we'll pass our way over here. It's it's also a merchant day. Could I talk to the merchant about stuff? Could, would I? Nah, not really. That's unnecessary. There's nothing that he needs to hear from me. Nothing at all. There's not. There's nothing that we need. Hey, donkey donk, donkey donk. Not now. Fine. You disappoint me, you donker. What about you, buddy? Can I talk to you about the, the plans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Fine. Trade. Buy. Buy them all. Buy all of my goods. All of these cabbages. Buy the cabbages. Uh, you can take the carrots too, I guess. I'm not using them currently, so. Yeah. What a good purchase. What a quality purchase. What a great purchase. Silver Star Pumpkin Seeds. I'm already growing Silver Star Pumpkins. And now that I can sell those pumpkins for more, I think I will buy these. I will buy those seeds. Um, Silver Star Onions are good. So I'll buy Silver Star Onion Seeds. Those will be good. Um, Silver Star Lentils? I guess. I, I can't grow lentils yet. I don't know how to grow lentils. Oh, look. A body has arrived. I totally didn't see that coming because I did definitely not just see the donkey walk on by. Call my name. When you walk on by, will you call my name? So I have your plans. You don't want them? Do I? Oh, I have to repair the mill with that. Okay, I need five complex iron parts and six flat boards. Let's just take care of that while the daylight is still here. Five complex iron parts and some flat boards. I got the steel. Let's make some... Ugh, I need bowls for parts. Damn it. Let's do... Complex iron parts. And I definitely just ate all of the beets that I had. Can I eat anything else that I have in here? I have burgers. Don't really want to eat that. Can eat... I can eat mushrooms. I will eat mushrooms. Shroom, 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 shrooms. It gives me energy and makes me pained inside. <laughs> it's destroying my insides. Wooden planks. I can get more wooden planks if I cut up pieces of wood, but I need more pieces of wood, and for that I need to cut down the trees. Tree huggers beware. The graveyard keeper does not care. That rhymed. That was pretty good. That was a pretty nice rhyme. I don't need these dowels. These dowels away. Put the dowel away and chop a wood. Then Eddie put the dowel away, chop a wood now. Till the very next day, bum, 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 bum. And then I'll have to craft whatever I can for the, I've run out of energy again. Time for more mushrooms. I will craft your mill for you. Build that mill real high. And then, I don't know, stuff will happen. Oh, I also need bowls. Um, I guess I can build the mill overnight. So I'll go grab the bowls, make the steel parts so that those will be done. I got the red wine. Very good. Can I make white wine in this? Odd that you would specify it as red wine if there was no white wine alternative. But uh, I, I get it. It's fine. You do you, graveyard keeps. Graveyard, uh, graveyard developers. Graveyard keeper developers. So 
So I'll make those parts, get the parts good. I'll make myself another sword. That's going well. In the meantime, I'll make my way over to... Oh, I have all these other seeds that I can plant now. That's good. Carrot seeds, we'll put that away. Let's do... Pumpkin seeds. And more pumpkin seeds. Gotta love that. Pick a seed of fertilizer. Uh, fertilizer. Peat. Put the peat there. Oh, apparently I can keep putting peat there. Wait a minute, what? Oh, I see. Onion seed. Put that down. It's already been fertilized. And then put that there as well. And now I got all that stuff growing. Wonderful. I'll put the hops seeds away. Lentil seeds away. No other seeds. Go build a mill. Go erect a mill or something. You're not welcome here. Go erect a mill. Those words hurt. You know. Words like that hurt. They dig deep. I wonder what I wonder if I get any benefits from reconstructing the mill and making it better. Repair. Continue. Work I say. Make it better. Make it delicious. What a delicious and scrumptious experiment. Making the windmill better. Yay. The mill. Unlocked. Sweet. Now go back to sweet home. The parts are almost done. Almost done. Um that's all I need for that sword, right? I just need those parts. So I will wait for the parts. I will wait for the parts. Here are the parts. Now I make the, the now I make the sword. Steel sword. Then I'll have an alternative. I can give the proper sword, the, the actual sword that I want away. I can research this sword before I give it away to Snake. Everything's working good. Everything is working very good. And then I'll give it to Snake. And that'll probably be, being that that's, that was a good goal to get to. That's where I'll end it. I'll give the sword, unless there's some instant deliver, unless there's some very obvious deliverable that can come after it. In which case, I will, I will wait till after that. We will see. Oh, that's a lot of sword to research. That's a lot of, it's a lot of sword. It's one sword. That's a lot of faith needed to research this sword. I'm sure it is quite the quite the information beholder cannot be decomposed but my goodness look at all that red wow that was a lot a lot of red that was a lot Whew. wow all right hey snake i got your sword for you you're gonna like this sword yeah you will you're gonna love this sword this was gonna be the best way you see your damn life it's like red it's kind of glowing red pretty cool pretty crazy the Damask Sword! Here we go. That's a nice sword. And your timing is perfect. Just kidding. I've been following you for a while. I'm always watching. And yes, I'm aware you have the sword. Oh, who are you? These are my followers. They've gathered here to behold my power. Is that real blood? This place looks scary, dude. This place is very scary. I'm not sure this was a good idea. Yeah, I think you might be right. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. So I need to kill you with this sword and then you shall return to life once more. How, wow. How'd Snake do it? He must be so powerful. We should worship him. Blah, 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 blah. I disagree. Boo. Behold my power over life and death. They are merely words to me. Follow me and be immortal. I already am immortal. I have died. Ugh. I have died. But alas, I am reborn. I need to go back to Snake. Ho ho! The ritual. It really is upon us. I'm so happy that I was able to start the ritual last time and finish it up this time. This is great. With the Sword of Power. Hey guys. Hey guys, it's, it is I. It is me, I am back. And that is why they lied to you. They lied to you, but I will never lie to you. After the dark ritual, our glorious conquest will commence. There he is, he's alive. He's immortal. Behold my first disciple. 
Now go back home and wait for my orders. My life will never be the same again. Heil Snake! Do we still need to go to church? I really like the way you did that whole death scene. It was good. It was so dramatic! Are we done here? Sure, sure. I just need a little time for final preparations. But I'm your man! Oh, thank you. About the ritual. Leave. The necklace. Leave. Uh. So, like... Oh, do I need to craft more stuff? Or blood fountain? All that stuff. Oh, I guess I just need to wait for... I guess I just need to wait for next time. Or maybe maybe I go to sleep first. Maybe maybe if I go to sleep first and then come back in the morning. Oh, that was a good story. I got a really damn good story from that. Sweet. If I sleep and then come back, will he be ready for me? Maybe. If not, that's what we'll call it. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. If not, either way, either way. Good progress today. Very good progress. Plenty of research done. Plenty of tech. Plenty of technology. Right. I'm so refreshed. Hi, Snake. Finally! Do you really need to say every time how refreshed you are? That's what I was wondering. What are you doing here? We've got a big problem. A well-known vampire hunter is headed for your graveyard. And he's going to kill me. And I'll probably burn down your church too. Why is a vampire hunter after you? It seems I got carried away showing off all my powers over life and death. And one of my cultists turned out to be dumb and chatty. It's so hard to find good help these days. What are we going to do? What we are going to do? We need to set a trap near Witch Hill on the road to the graveyard. We'll make it look like an accident. I have already set up a distraction for him at, at the town brothel. So we have a little time, but not much. I'll be waiting for you on Witch Hill right up the road. Oh my god. Oh, this is happening. Uh, up to Witch Hill. On the top of the road. I am totally ready for this. Wow. Look at this. Wowza. Okie dokie. Let's... Up to Witch Hill. At the top of the road! Ooh! This is exciting! Very exciting indeed. We're gonna stop the vampire killer! Witch Hill, top of the road. Witch Hill, top of the road. Snake? Snake! Snake! Where are you, bud? Are you all the way at the top here, or... I'm at Witch Hill. Snake? Buddy old pal? Buddy? Where is, where is Snake again? Snake? Snake. Hell, it helps Snake with a trap near Witch Hill. Okay, so it had to be at the top of the road near Witch Hill. So I guess it's probably at the bottom. Unless it's around this edge over here. No. Don't believe so. No, no. Definitely not. Definitely can't fix that up. Okay. Oh my god, it's getting dark. I don't want it to get dark out. Because if it gets all dark out, I won't be able to complete the ritual. Ugh. At the very least, I think if I talk to Snake, if I need materials on the next time... Oh, hell yeah, here it is. Hey, bud. Finally, did you bring a wooden plank? Why should I have brought that? Because I asked you to bring one. No, you didn't. Okay, whatever, just bring it. Hurry up. Um, do I have one? I need one wooden plank. Oh, God. Time is ticking. I need a wooden plank. Sweet home. Sweet home. Wooden plank? Aha! I have a plank. I will bring this plank with me. And make my way up into the mountain. Oh my goodness, time is ticking. I must hurry up. Hopefully he doesn't head home. Don't head home, Snake. I have your plank. I have your plank. And we'll eat it too. So now you can have your plank and eat it too. Ma. Don't go anywhere. Do not go anywhere. I got your plank. Here's the plank. Ha <laughs> ha! Now we'll kill you. Great, everything is ready. You're lucky he's not here yet. Let's just wait. Wow, time passes. Time continues to pass. How long do we need to wait? Just a little longer. <laughs> time passes. Oh goodness. Are you sure that are, are you sure that he's coming? Yes, we just need to be patient. No human can spend this much time in a brothel. Uh, well, maybe he's not. Maybe he's not a human. Right? Maybe he's not a human. I'm really tired, and I need to eat something. Everything is at stake. Just keep calm. Uh, 
He's coming, get ready. We only get one chance at this. I love side quiz. Just did it out, did it out. Push. Oh my God. We killed a man. Ha, <laughs> easy peasy lemon squeezy. Dude. Great hunter, ha, <laughs> undefeated warrior, ha. <laughs> How nice of him to bring his medallion. Now we can get into the deepest part of the dungeon. What's next? Get rid of the body and clear the path. Meet me near the dungeon entrance. I have a final task for you. We're a good team. Wow. That was disgusting. Should I clean this up? Cleaning this up. Cleaning it up, cleaning up, cleaning up. All right, and I have a good dead body. Hunter's medallion, piece of stone. I wonder if this is a good body. And it's kind of... Kind of past dark, so I don't know if I'll actually be able to. Uh, I don't know if I'll actually be able to meet up with Snake. It's possible. It's possible. You a good body? Wow, you are an asshole. You're a terrible body. You are a bad, bad body. These bodies are better though. Are you better? Not really. What about you, body? Are you better, body? Better bodies for your money down? No, you're not very good at all. Let's see if I can actually catch up with Snake. And I got this Hunter's Medallion, too. That's pretty cool. I guess at the deepest parts of the dungeon, I can use that Hunter's Medallion. Things are looking good. Things are looking good. Snake, are you down here, or did you already go home for the day? I wonder. Buddy? Nah. All right. He went home for the day. But I got this medallion. That is pretty, pretty cool. Wowza. We killed a man today. I don't think we've ever taken life in this game. Only, only just kind of taking care of life that has already been taken or has just kind of dissipated from this world. This is a whole new low. This is a whole new adventure for us. And it's... Oh my goodness. What a wonderful time it is. What a great, what a great time indeed. Well, now that we have blood on our hands and homicide is officially a sin that we will go to hell for. Thank you everybody for watching. This has been very exciting. This is where we're going to end it for the evening and see what kind of trouble, I guess, we can get ourselves into next time around. Thank you all. It's been fun. And now that we're all the way at the end, it is time to uh, just, just consider the world around us, right? What What is the world around us? What is the world? If the world would end today, what would you do? What wouldn't you do? I don't know. In any case, I will see you all on Friday, bright and early, Friday morning, for a little bit, uh, for a little bit of Minecraft. Some good time, morning times, and good vibes. I am ready. It's gonna be great. So everybody, wherever you are, have a wonderful day, evening, night, twilight, whatever it may be. The party will continue wherever we are. Peace out, everybody. Until next time. Bye.